can do it again. Let me check my hard drive to see if I have space. Hey, space, hey, space, 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 hey. <sighs> ah, what the fuck? I have so much memories that I want to delete, bro. Like, look at all this. Look at all these memories. Oh my God. What is this? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. I don't know what the hell I was thinking that day. That was the easiest click off ever. All right, hold on. Lock it in. Let's go ahead and delete some of these. Fuck, it's a lot to delete. Man. We can delete. No. Yes, this right here. That'll be fine. What? Did it delete? It did. All right, hold on. Lock it in. Everybody. Seven months. Let's stop go. edging. Also, start locking. It's my birthday today, so G -G. stop. G G. Damn, man. Bucket of bummer. You mean G G? Oh, that type of G G. I don't know why Texas speech likes to always sound so depressed. Ayo, hey, GG, happy birthday. Thanks for so much. I appreciate it. Uh, did it delete? I think it deleted. Yep, it deleted. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. 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 So we are playing. Yo, what's up, YouTube? How's it going? I'm not going to curse for the next two minutes because I am family friendly. That's what the fuck is up, yo. Um, We are playing Killer Frequency. It's very apparently it's 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 gas, not ass. Can I say ass? Is that Jesus Christ? Um, Nick A thirty, please. Uh, we're gonna see what it's about. Apparently, there's like a killer on the loose, and I'm like a radio. I'm a what do you call it? A radio host on a channel on the radio. You feel me? And somebody calls me for help. I don't know why they call me. Like, what the hell am I gonna do? I'm a radio host. I speak on the radio. What am I going to do for you? I'm not no policia. Whatever. All right. Let's see. Apparently, this game is very good. YouTube Elastic Ray. Dude, editor, leave that out. <laughs> I'm joking. Leave it in. <laughs> uh, Jace from TikTok. instead of five years. I appreciate it. Melissa well, said, got you. <laughs> thank you, Jace. Thank you. And then, per you know what's crazy? You know what I've realized? Every time... I'm about to, ah, every time I want to do an intro, now, get the subs now, do it now, now, now. I appreciate the love, thank you, thank you, seriously, no, thank you. And you to the stream right now, Jesus Christ. All right, we're playing this game. Let's see what's up, uh, lock it in. <clears throat> oh, I know, Militia. Yo. There are some times where you can just mute the audio, like, the desktop audio, though. It used to be separated, but I don't know why they're combined now. F mod. Killer frequency. This game uses an auto save feature when you see the symbol on the screen. Do not close the application. Write that down. Write that down. Write that down. Did, did you write it down? Dude, I love the atmosphere of this game. Damn, chills. Chills. Yo, anybody else throbbing right now? Holy hell. Robert the Throbber on the scene. Subtitles on, obviously. When the mode off, V sync on, frame limit, FOV. Let's make it. I think a breezy 105 will be good. All right. Allie, what a chump. Look at this. Bro, hold on. I think if you increase the FOV more, you get to see a lot more. No, that's like how that works. Shut up, chat. I already know what you are saying. Damn. I meant like on the screen. Okay, look at that. That's cool. Neat. Should we just do max FOV? Freak it. Let's do max FOV. Wait, you could move in this game? I thought you just sit at a desk. Okay. Dumpster diving. It's pretty much like thrifting. Okay. 
Object interaction, you can hold two objects, swap between with hands. Oh, F to drop, R to throw. Hold to place objects. Huh? Right click hold to place object. Release when the when in a valid location. Oh, okay, I see. So we do this. Oh, it has to be in your dominant hand. What the fuck? I'm a good Samaritan. Making the world a better place step by step. Hearts in the chat for me, seriously. Run the gifted. Damn, homeboy's hung. Yo, what the f It sounds like a whole fucking waterfall. Bro, yo. Oh, hell no. What are we doing here? Why are we here? Is this the crib? Oh, do you hear that? Listen. Oh, it stops. It sounded gushy. Okay. Well, what are we doing? Are we the killer? Who am I? Where's my dick? Where's my hands? Where's my body? Inspecting objects. Press E to begin inspecting. Fam. Shout out to the fam. K fam. K pop? Oh, wow. Epic. Okay, cool. No more harming rats, okay? <laughs> Damn. There we go. I got you, Remy. A little ratatata. Control to crouch. This game's a lot more in depth than I thought it'd be. Hello? My hell. Oh, hell da. Hello? Hello? What am I looking for? Love me like you. What is this? Opening doors? Okay, hold on. I feel like we should go ahead and pull that lever over there. <clears throat> What's this button do? Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it smells like someone took a mean ass shit in there. Let it air out a bit. Alright. I guess I'm a mechanic. This what's up, yo. Yo, name's Bob. I'm here to do the, the, the city inspection of these, these buildings. I'm going to see if you reach the health code as well. Yo. Yeah, because I could just read that. Yeah, this is up. Yeah. Anyways, I don't really do good with notes. All in the membrane. He's behind me, isn't he? No, he's in front of me! I'm a black belt! Oh, shit! Damn, nice ass fit. What is that, Louie? Lock it in. Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or I don't know uh, how. Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Right. Cats. You know, four legs, whiskers, tails. They're talking about dogs. my scream, and they have to make it I related to a furry. Is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Right away. Seriously. Does I, Carly? We have to do these checks every time. And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment for each show. Shout out to Reggie. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. Shout but out to Reggie. But if you're sure you don't want to. 
Now let's do the checks. What the fuck? Yes, brother. Look at what we're dealing with here. We need, we need to do the checks. All right, fine. Let's get through this. What do I feel like Peggy's oh, gonna be? Alrighty, this is your Peggy speaking. about everything. Ha <laughs> ha. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Okay. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. It's easy. Super easy. My nephew could do that. Grab a rec. Rec. Super easy. Yeah, super. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and yeah. stick it on the turn. Table. I heard you. Let me. I'm. Shh. I'm aware. I'm aware. Ah. Got it. Oh, Great. oh, hell yeah. Now turn it off. Will do. Roger, roger. Now put it back All in. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Oh, what do I do with Here, this? Captain will be waiting to Leave take your call on line one. Okay, line one. Line one. Hello? All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah. It's a riot. Great. And button two works just the same. So... Let's move to the Peggy button. I don't like that. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Oh, hell no. Nah. Press it when you need my help. I don't like how she says show. it. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? On God. They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. Oh, yeah, right there. <sighs> Press. Hold on. Fuck. All these things are so chiquito. I need to, like, man, I'm getting old. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's a lot better. Wow. This is Yo. your brain, Forrest. No, no, no. That, that now that feels wrong. Sorry, I made you, you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster. Where's that? I'm guessing this. Isn't that the? Am I blasting it? Are we splurging? Blaster, front of the desk to the right. Um, so There we go. Epic. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Heard. Can I? Right. Yep. All right, seems to be all working. We done, Captain? Put your hands in the hair like you just don't care. What the hell am I saying? Landing, local time. Yeah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is guess that scream. Huh? I thought that was a joke. Nope. And don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Reggie's the killer. Okay, you're live in Yo! three, Yo! two... 189.16. Oh, hell no. Yo, yo. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, What the Forrest most? Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Damn. Before we start taking your calls, tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show. I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the hooray. station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. What kind of twisted game is this? Guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. Right Let away. Scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. I love my job. <laughs> what do you mean, play the tape? What tape on God? I just have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Hold on, hold on. What's homegirl's job? To be annoying? Bucky, why can't you look look at what I'm dealing with? Oh hell no. In Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Right. 
Uh, I know that. Forrest, you do have the tape right. This is the tape right here. I knew we were doing this tonight. Yeah, yeah, shh. Let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. On God it is. But no, I got it. I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Is it the tape? We're going to need to scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... Oh, no. I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a <clears throat> mic in a backwater ah! All right. Jesus. I'm good. Come on, Forrest. Just do it. Let's do it. I'm about it. I'm about it. Already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Okay. Oh, God. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess, guess that, that scream. scream. Let's do let's do uh, a Yeti scream. Where's the getting pegged scream? Where is Peggy pegging me scream? Cause that's all she's been doing tonight. Damn. Okay. All right. Yeti scream. <sighs> yep. Homeboy's well, cheeks are definitely getting clapped. There you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free. Fried dough. Fried dough. We're in Texas. Just call in at five. We gotta be at Texas. Two three nine K fam with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Um, yeah, music. Oh, I'm a fucking G, dude. I'm so good at my job. Yep. M music. Oh, music. 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 Whew. Damn. Some responses have a time limit, but it might be better to not respond to some situations. Should I introduce a song? Sure. I'm not a gatekeeper. I'm not gonna make make the motherfucker use Shazam. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Wait, I already found? Oh God, Forrest, that was amazing. R right, right. Y'all saying I failed my job? Hello? I'm getting fucking glazed. She's hyping. Boy, chat, shut the. Watch, man. Y'all watching a prodigy in the making. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? <laughs> Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. I made. I made. Damn. Hold on. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming. Oh. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Um. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Okay. Uh... Damn, what a, what what happened? Slow night? Why are you calling me? Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. Wait. I didn't pay my taxes. I can't go. Guys, I can't go back. Yo, what the fuck? How did they What can we do for you? Slow Play night? cool. Forest. I found yeah, cause I know that you found a fucking oh, body. Hey. Oh hell no! I can't. Where's the hang up button? How do we hang up? How do we hang up? You're 911 calling me. What? What else am I supposed to know? How am I? So the phone's coming off. Get that shit off of me. I'm breaking shit. Sorry, game just started. The body. I need help. Okay. How Chris, am I supposed to help? I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. All right, Peggy, if you say Peggy. so. I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. That's what I'm saying. What if it's a do prank? Prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Well, I think it is. GG. Hey, better luck next time. Oh, the urge to press that button, but we gotta lock it in. Um, you should call the sheriff. Like, hello. Like, what are we doing? Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name, Sheriff? Andrews Garfield whatever I'm at the sheriff's office right now wait what sheriff Matthews is dead we're cooked 
Brother. <laughs> Brother. What am I getting a promotion? Brother. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. So you call us. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say... She's a killer. Him. Did he fight back? I don't know. Very descriptive. I think he tried. Details matter. Oh, this is perfect. I don't think. Uh, sorry, sorry to kill the fucking vibe. I've been watching Reacher, Jack Reacher, the show. And I'm pretty much a detective. I'm an S tier detective as of right now. So the way she described that sounded like she enjoyed that he died. Weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna consider everybody a fucking op except for Peggy. Peggy, eighteen. Sorry. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but. Okay. Um, is there anyone else at the station? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here. GG. But she's knocked Hang out, up. tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. Why call me? Uh, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, yeah, because that does a lot. Do you have any idea who could have done Fucking it? Cancun. Brother, is that Dak Prescott? Is that the fucking third deputy? Whatever, dude. Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Five months up to one of my favorite guys. Let's go also hide But if you leave while they're... Oh, hold on. I'm going I'm to turn off uh, for immersion. We're going to mute the alerts. Thank, thank you for the five months. Though. I appreciate it. There's a murderer on the loose. Who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. It's an honor, truly. It really is. I'm glad you thought of me and nobody else. Wait, I'm the only channel in this fucking hickey town. Lamau. Um. Fuck it. You can count on me. Sure. You can count on me. Uh, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Forrest. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. It's my first day on the job. First day on the... <sighs> You're the only person equipped for the job. It's my first day. It's my first. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Okay. Keep people talking, you okay. know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. Okay. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. All right. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Okay. Is there any way you can reach the keys? On God. No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. Oh, yikes. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. Okay, then get like a stick. Be another way get a in. stick, a cane. Something that you could, something skinny to fit to the door. You can't bring down the door. Find another way. Find another set of keys. There always, there, there always has to be a spare, no? There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. On God. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Obviously, Sheriff Matthews, but what if Sheriff Matthews is the one that he got the key from? Hmm, doesn't hurt to check, though. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... Get in there. really look up close. There you go. One second. Yeah, get up. Fill oh, him up. I think I might be sick. It's okay, man. Sorry, Sheriff. Leslie, stay with me. Stay with me. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Ugh. Please don't stare at me. 
I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far... So I'm pretty much Jack Reacher. So good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I feel fantastic. Uh, I'm quitting KFM if this is a prank. Let's take it seriously. If I'll take Peggy's word. Peggy sounds like she knows what she. Peggy 18 sounds like she knows what she's talking about. Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe. Yo. 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 Was that open? We can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have right. to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Real. Come on, Martinez. There we go. So we're, we're just letting everybody hear this conversation we're having, huh? Just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. Okay. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. Okay. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. Okay. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Right. You're leaving? We're on our own? It's the right thing to do? Well, yeah, what do you, she needs to get the other person to safety, so yeah. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I... What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? Yo! No, no way. This can't... Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? How is she oh, so cool, calm, collected? It sounds like... Whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can but he's dead, right? Right? Oh, no. But that mask, shh, shh, how shh. the ah, hell is he? Ah, ah, ah. Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling? <laughs> Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby. Sorry, bro. Man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. Yikes. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? It's Josh oh, Hutchinson. God. No! Do you, think, do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Oh, he's coming, right? Lock the doors. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torn. You're in a police station. Grab a gun. Um, take a police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, You're seeing right? Duck sitting there. You should take one of those. I Yo, like how can she be so unprofessional? Dog, I mean, she, listen, there's a killer. She's probably not thinking, whatever. Also, your chat isn't centered on stream. What do you mean? Whatever. Let me check if Martinez has any, uh, I'll just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and yes. Oh, she's the 9 one operator. Oh, okay. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get oh, us? Oh, yeah, car? the other body. The whistling man is right there. Uh yeah, We should take does Deputy Martinez have a gun? The sheriff definitely has a gun, and sheriff's always they're always packing some heat. So, the sheriff the sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Okay. I... Oh, shit. It's empty. No, mom. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. I shouldn't. Um... Is there a weapon locked up? She has keys. She has sheriff's keys. So there should be a weapon 
You know what I'm saying? There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. You have the sheriff's keys. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. No. No! No, uh, shit. None of the keys work. Or are there any other weapons lying Fuck. around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um. Uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Baton, pepper spray, and taser. I don't think the baton. Dude has a blicky. Pepper spray, he's wearing a mask. I think taser, dude. I think taser, easily. What should I take? Yeah, taser. Take the fucking taser. I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to gotta be. It's just, it just gotta be. Then... It gotta be the taser. Wait. Do you hear that? Is he edging? No? No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Then be on edge. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. How about we just, like, just... Deputy Martinez... <laughs> not clap his cheeks. I'm telling... Slap the homeboy's face. Yo. Uppy uppy. Wakey wakey. It's time to leave, dude. Like, what are we doing? Lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So. What a badass, yo. Here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Okay. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Let's be motivational. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. On God. God, I hope she makes it through this. You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Let's play some, yeah, let's play some music. Let's, everybody, calm everybody down. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Okay. I'm putting the call through. So much for relaxing, so much for downtime. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. We hear you loud and clear. Hello. Hello, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. We did. Deputy Martinez and the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. Hell yeah. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus. God damn it. Get, get back. Get away from her. What's happening? Leslie, what's happening? The whistling. No. Get off her. Taser. Yeah! Scooby-Doo him! Get out of there! Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get out of there! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Are you two okay? Leslie, are you two okay? Did Woo! You get away? Forrest, that taser, definitely the right call. I know. I've seen my fair share of cops. I've seen my fair share of cops. I know. I know. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. <laughs> True. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. That's, as long as you're on the move. Slightly less if I put That's my better. Phone down. We'll do our best. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Righty ho. Anyway, once I'm in, oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon. Heard. I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Try not to crash. Try not to crash. We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Come on, come on. Like, is that not like, uh... Folks, you heard it here. 
We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. But damn, are we doing a good job? But damn, are we doing a good brother? This is actually insane. Did she really say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Edward Marshall Mooney. in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. And geeking, clearly. No reason for it. No motive. He just... The motive? Uh, okay, yeah, what happened to him? Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well... Where he died? It was on this night, actually. This night? The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. Bro's been plotting for years? Died. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time. Waiting to take revenge. Has to be town. the Grinch. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Guess we'll find out. You know why, dude? I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out. I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday. After midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Oh, wow. 35 at best? That makes it, makes it easier, no? Like, then we only have to save 35 people. 35 at best? 35, yeah. It's a school night. Makes sense. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Bro, how is this? Oh. How, how many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million dog how, how, how the hell is this business running we have 35 people how is that going to keep us afloat motherfucker was dealing with 5 million we got 35 brother we need to what a killer night what a killer what a, what a, what a start what a start you know what i'm saying we're gonna get more than 35 tonight you know what i'm saying damn million yeah sometimes that's just the way it goes Hell yeah. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I Give guess. Me crickets? Yeah. I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. All right. Take it when you're ready. Time to turn the music off. Heard. 189.16. And we're live. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Hot ass breath, boy. Oh my days! Holy, I heard that, I, I smelt it. I, I fucking felt it through the fucking phone. What is that? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Hey, crank up the AC, dog. Crank up the... It's getting hot in here. Jesus, what? He's edging. Okay. Yo, What's bro. Your, and why are you your mic's not uh, muted. Oh. You know my name. 
It's a prank caller. It is a prank caller. I've come back from the dead to kill again. Anyways. Do you accept requests? This has to be a prank. Ooh, so scary. Like, what the fuck is this, bro? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh, maybe you must make a sacrifice Ooh. to us. A sacrifice to us? How about you sacrifice your cheeks to me? I, I mean, me. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, we also want a mega call. For anyone just tuning in, we do in fact have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, fucking chumps. This next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. And staying safe with a hot cup of moco, cocoa. Jesus. Uh, it's your thing. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Peggy. What the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... No, nah, there's no way. That's real. That has to be real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. Hey, right. let's do it. Let's do this. Frigo, Frigo. We have she a call sold, She sells at the seashore. <laughs> Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? Uh, I dialed 911. Perfect. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. I'm the best you got, man. I'm sorry. Let's not say this. She, let's not make her panic. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. Okay, I'll try my best. Town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is after me, knife in hand. Oh God, it's actually what happening. What is the kid doing a prank? Uh, bad night to go out for a run. Where are you now? Where are you now? <laughs> Did you escape somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I just ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped okay. somewhere along the way. I never Don't call me baby! Bro, bro who, who the hell are you? Oh, hell no. Nah. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Homegirl, homegirl's about to die. I went for a jazz run, baby. Bro, lock it in. It sounds like you lost him. I think you'd be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Well, I'm not going back out there. I. Yo. <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. <gasps> they were firing the wrong thing about cars. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. What? Wait, wait, wait. I don't. Uh, I don't hotwire? I got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call okay. you back when I find it. Details matter, I guess. Details matter. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. You sit tight. I do it all, truly. Spins, folks. Jack this of all trades. To you, Sandra. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah, 
You know they're not even brothers. Does that matter? Yeah. They look the same though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Righty ho. All right, so we need to find how to hotwire a car. This game is, dude, this game, this game, this game is badass. Why is also barking? The whistling man's outside. Also, ah! false alarm. It was just Josh Hutcherson. False alarm, false alarm. Sorry, sorry playing. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Hey guys, I have a K9 on standby. Oh. He's feisty. I'm in good hands. Right? Wait, free also content? What am I doing? Hey. Be on standby, okay? Be on standby. Oh, this game's badass though. I like how you can walk around and shit. I thought you were literally just glued to a chair, but no. Down the hallway. Um. So many locked doors, so few keys. Is this okay? This has to be it. Oh, can I put my butt on? Okay, we need to find something about cars, 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 cars. Cars. Car Grilling spree. Grilling doesn't matter. Let's take it just in case, though. Scare craft and work. The art of decorating with. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This has to be it. Truck. I have tools. I can hold two things, but how does that? Wait, hold on. What was that? What's that? This has to be important. Twins. I've borrowed your car theft magazine. Those Wevels, Ranchotos, aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Huh? Wevels? Why are we talking about Wevels? Whose nutsacks are we gonna... Bathroom. Oh my god. You are a fucking genius. Chat, how the fuck do y'all do it? Truly. This looks useful. No, it's like what we need. How is this guy that our, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, perfect. Just let me just. Perfect. Use a screwdriver keys if uh, as a key if that. Yo. Peggy. All right. Yeah, just just leave me alone. All alone. I need a key to get in there. Someone, someone's here, dog. Somebody's here. I'm not getting in there tonight. Okay, whatever. I tried. I tried being a. I tried being a macho man. Listen, listen, guys. If I can take care of the killer now, GG. You know what I'm saying? GG. Game's over. I'm not a sissy. Seriously? 
Place items in a tray to hold them while on calls. The tray. What tray? Like that. This could chill right there. Okay. Alrighty. We're ready. We're ready. <clears throat> and we're live. In three, two, one. You find anything? Yeah. I found a magazine about oh, we're not cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Exactly. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. It's already off, but okay. I'll shut it that way. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Thank you, Peggy. Be pegging you later. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <gasps> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. <laughs> Listen, I understand we're saving somebody's life, but we got to plug it in. You know, we, we got to let the people know who's saving this person. You get what I'm saying? Like, we got to make money somehow. My tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. Okay. How do we start this, baby? You need a screwdriver. Um. Fuck. Th this is clockwise, right? Yeah, because the counterclockwise is that way. Okay. We need to move it. What the fuck? Yeah, it's the only issue. Or, or option. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I. I. Oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. Swear. What next? Okay, remove the steering column cover. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Jazz turn. Jazz turn. One, two, it's okay. One, think two. about jazz. Think about jazz. Breathing. All your running. You know, stamina building has been for this moment. Long enough. Covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here, all paired up, and oh god, my heart is pumping. Oh no. Okay. Check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. If there is a four before a three, and no seven in number, red and blue. Okay. We need. To, I need. To, I need to hear. I need to hear. Tell me what's okay. Do your jazz breathing, don't panic. I want to say that, but we, we need information. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and... Okay, what, a serial wire. numbers. Stay with me. Stay with me, Sandra. L L Landra, whatever your fucking name is. Okay, it says, uh, check the serial number then. Okay. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. 320? If there's a zero at the end and, and a three doesn't come before the six, I need to hear it again. 576, if the three doesn't come before the it's it's red and yellow, red and yellow, we're live, we're live, we are live! Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We All right. What's the passion? And we twist and we turn. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? What? Now strip the purple wire and twist it into the exposed cable. Do not touch it. And brush it against the twisted wires. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires of step three. This one. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wire. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush. And oh. <gasps> I thought, bro, I thought she was about to blow up. Bro, I, I looked at the subtitles and it cut off. I thought, boom. I thought I was going to hear that. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Yeah, buddy. Fantastic oh, work, dude, baby. I can't, man. My heart, my heart can't now take this game. Come down to the jazz studio. You get in for free. Ready, ho. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're safe, but lay off the jazz. No, the jazz kept her alive. Uh, just keep driving. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, baby. All right. You hear a car accident? Lol. We did it, Forrest. Hell yeah. We sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. Hell yeah. If you're also having car troubles, then tune in to 
Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16 Monday yep, to Friday. Yep, they better at pay five. us for that plug-in. Take it away, Forrest. for that ad read right away. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Damn, like really? that, huh? Miserable? Uh, it's nothing personal. Just, you know, my upbringing to where I am now, kind of a letdown. It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. There you well, go. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Stab happy? Don't be awful for us. <laughs> Come on, there must be Too something soon, my you like about this place. Um... You don't notice it stink after a while. Some folks have been okay. See, that's the one thing about small towns. You get mean mugged for a while, but then once you become part of the family, you're part of the family. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. What did I say? What did I say? Lyric for lyric, word for word, bar for bar. What did I say? Not terrible I know, after a I know. while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for. Who do you think I made think the game chat? Swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. Hopefully. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Nah, for real. Yeah, that'd probably be a good Does idea. Does it seem appropriate for what's going on? I swear, it's only been 42 minutes. Jesus. We got a long night. Caller on line one. All right. Lock it in. Lock it in. Stop scratching your nutsack, chat. Lock it in. Seriously. Evening, caller. This Yo. is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of. Cut this shit. He's just trying to plug in his pizzeria. Someone cut this shit. Hey, cut the line. Cut the line. Cut the line. Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty's of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. You know what? I'll what shut him out. Why not? to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. Right away. I've of course. I've a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Uh, you Very did a really okay. Great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell free pizza you for life. That I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Pumpkin's That's what's up, yeah. Pizza. That's what's wow, up, yeah. Brian, thank you, Brian. That's really Truly, good of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running. Dave Portnoy here. will have you eating for pennies. Damn. Great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Yeah. I nice oh, No mom is. No, that, that's okay. That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. Should we hit it with a low blow? Should we hit it? Your pizza's ass. Your pizza's ass. Should I hit him with a low blow? That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. I'm sorry, Forrest. It's okay, man. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Wait a second, beer? Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Dog, I this guy sucks at his job. He used to be a radio host in front of 5 million people. I figured that shit out frame one. I was on that shit. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word, a word from, from our sponsors. sponsors. This video is not going to be sponsored. Subscribe, like, share the video, comment what's your favorite part. Thanks. You I'm so clean with it, man. Jesus Christ. Wait, and Code Jordan, check out 10% off G-Subs. Love you. Appreciate it.
I forgot I'm always sponsored. Lamau, what the hell am I saying? My God. Up. Oh, you hear that? It's nothing. Because I drink it all. That's how much I freaking love it, dude. Family friendly. Lock it in. An ad, right? Do I know how to play a cassette? Duh. Sure. I used to have a cassette aux tape. Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Uh. Teddy Gallows Jr. Oh! is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs. Peggy, how much are we getting paid for this? Structure. Next Gallows time, Creek increase the flat fee. Yeah. Mayor. Next time, increase the flat fee. What is Unlike this? Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Oh, that's... I chose the wrong tape to play right now. They're, 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 they're hyping up the sheriff. That, that dude's cooked. He's dead. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. Take a swing. Homeboy swings. It sounds like a knife for the mayor. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve... This Sound like a goth? I mean, yeah, I guess. God, what a jackass. On God, take this shit out. Great A asshole. Fucking well, A. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. Thank God. Huh. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek? Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of uh, course yeah. he's one of those guys. Yeah, I fucking peaked in high school. You should have been there. I was the best. Come suck my dick. It's a two-incher. Fucking grow up, dude. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, yep. and he never lets anyone forget it. Womp. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. This is so relatable. You know what I'm saying? I'm joking. Every ad I take, I completely love it. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. Ah! We should add that. We should add that. Like, I, I soon as we say, welcome to the Scream. Ah! You know what I'm saying? You know, like, someone should write that down. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. And Maurice! Maurice! Can you get in? Forrest Nash? I want to okay. speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Yikes. Uh, Leslie left me in charge. He sounds like he's familiar with Leslie. Let's say Leslie left me in charge, so he knows I'm cool with Leslie. Therefore, we're cool. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm so clean with this. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... See? Oh, never mind. See? Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. He's on vacation. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Okay. Jesus. What the hell? We... 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 What are we doing? We beat around the bush to let people know that he's not dead, and then we just flat out say it? What... Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? No. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Is this fucking J. Jonah Simpson? Jimison? What's his fucking name from Spider-Man? Jesus Christ. Yo, just, yo, we're live on the air, man. Come on, lock it in. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. Obviously, a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, no duh. There's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. 
Yo. 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 Hello! Yo. It, does this thing work? Does this thing work? A sheriff is dead. We're getting help from a different fucking town. Oh, Summerbrook, I wasn't worried about it. Dog, there's a killer on the... Boy, boy, boy. Hell no. Yeah, they, hey, this town fucking needs me. They Some need me. idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Worse That's not. Year. You get. You can't take that lightly, this yo. Punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. And now he's back. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The Whistling Man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Oh wow, we got ourselves a fucking jokester. You know what? Hey, forgive me. Hey, forgive me for trying to fucking save you, you coward! Little sissy motherfuck, man. Seriously. They call me Gas Snash. Bumass the fuck? Every year this happens. They think it's funny. That's not even better. Actually, it sounds like I just farted a lot. Anyways, continue. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact, Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. Did you see his? Did you see the body? I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews, where are you now? I'm in the boardroom, upstairs. I like how the atmosphere just got changes. Got security cameras all around the building. Perfect. You can watch them on any TV set here. Okay, There's you're a in a good room. In the room. Uh. No, let's not make him think he could take the whistling man. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going Yo. to... Yo! That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. Looks like he's trying to look for something. Or it sounds stairs. like. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. Wow. What that a building. It take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... What Forrest, can we do? I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, oh, okay, right? Okay, okay. In different rooms, with different I thought homegirl just had his personal cell. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Good idea, good idea, good idea. And by Marie's time and get a, the exclusive interview with the killer? <laughs> yeah, buy him time. Well, who would pick this? Buy Marie's time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. We're, we're plotting, so, man. We're thinking. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. Jesus. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? Oh, oh, I'm going to start biting my drywall, dog. I, this, this guy, he's pissing me off. This guy, you know what? All right. It's, 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 you're right. It's stupid. It's to hang up. Hang up, hang up, hang up. For that to be successful. You're gonna need every phone extension, plus a plan of the entire office floor. I know where exactly where to go. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. I have an idea. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go. Yo, yo, fam, he does not got it. Hey, we'll be right back after this short commercial. What the hell are we doing? You. You don't think the killer got him, do you? You're listening to, if you're a hoe, hit up my phone. Oh. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Okay. There's still more I need to do before I can leave? Oh, oh, how do you know our fax machine number? That was fast. How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. Cool. Uh, I'll go pick up that map then. Where is the fax machine? I think I know where it's at. Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Okay. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. BRB. Hold it down. This okay. game's cool, man. I, I can't go over this go shit. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Easy peasy. Right? Right? Right here. Oh, there it is. This must be it. 
That's the stairs. Let's let's take a good minute to study this. Wow, this is an awful map. Yo, M Maurice, you couldn't have done like a better job at this. Fucking my nephew could do better. What is this? Okay. So he's in the fax room because he sent us a fax, right? So he's there. All right. So if that's the stairs, if he's blocking the stairs. Yo. He's not here. He has to be in the boardroom. Bro, how do we... I mean, we could make him go to the editor's... Okay, I know what to do. Hold on. Oh, dude, this is, this is tough, man. This is tough. Okay. No, I definitely am. I'm paying attention to where the door's at. So where is he? Did he say where he was at? The killer's in the secret archives, right? Or is the killer on the stairs? The killer's on the stairs. Chat, please. I need, I need my consciousness here to help me. You're useless. I have no idea. Fuck it, we ball. If he's in the boardroom, we should have him go into their archives, have the guy leave the boardroom, go into the office space. Once he's hiding in the office space, call the editor's exit, have him go in there, run into the archives, hide in there, and then call exit number four, and then he can book it for the stairs. Or the phone in the boardroom. Mm. All right, this is... Lock it in. Hey, did you get the fax? Sure did. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Uh, yeah, I have it here. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. This is Here's twisted. The situation. Okay. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the now he's in the office next door. Okay, so in the office space. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Okay, we, we should call the uh, the editor's room. Because he's already searched everything beforehand. We want him to get closer to the exit. So he goes to the editor's exit and he goes into office space. Because the kill's already in the office space. So therefore, once he leaves, there's no point to recheck it. Call the editor's room. I'm pretty sure Maurice is in the boardroom. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? You need to go to the office space as soon as the phone rings, man. Wait, a, a little bit. Oh, shit. Oh, man, okay. The kitchen. Let's take him to the kitchen. That's closest to the exit. And then we could call the boardroom last second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. <sighs> You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Yes. Go somewhere he's already checked. No shit. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? He's dead. Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling. The stairs are blocked off with the cubicles. Or some shit. I don't know. Hold on. Watch. Now. I'm cooking. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. No shit. You can thank me later. Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're safely home. Thank you. It's your producer I'll be crediting. Really? If no, I whatever. Prove this. The coast is clear. Now go to the kitchen. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Smart. Smart yeah. man. Smart man. Making my move. I'll call when I get there. What? Just oh. 
Do you think he'll make it okay? He's got it. I'm sure he'll be fine. He has attitude but for now, him. what do we do? Oh, wait. We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? Yeah. I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. Say your idea. Maybe we could what, man? How the hell am I gonna tell this guy to move cabinets? The cabinets are blocking the stairs. A phone call is not gonna make enough time to distract... Oh, hold lock in. You ready? Ah, <sighs> ready as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Oh my god. Man, motherfucker, I thought you were cooked. Bros didn't say a word for like a good two seconds. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Okay, okay. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Correct. Exactly. Move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly. I got it. I got it. I got it. We make a phone call for the archives. He pushes the furniture in front of the door to block the door. But the door opens that way. Oh my god. Can you lock him in a room? Yeah, yeah. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Has to unlock from the inside. Get out just as soon as. Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. The secret archive through my office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. Who cares about Reggie now? Up back there. Juicy secrets about outer space? Make light of the situation. Ah, I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. I may have borrowed a few tapes Listen, from our manager's office. I always got time to riz. He has quite the collection. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? I've got it all figured out. Okay, the okay, secret okay. archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. How do we get him in you there, though? can't now? break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Hell! Exactly. Family friendly peg. Yes, what the fuck I'm talking about, man? Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. Let's get it. So should I call the secret archive then? Not yet. Can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. Real. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're going to need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Wait, there's a... Let me think. There is a door in the editor's office. Is there a TV in there? Use your stuff as bait? Use a radio? That, obviously, that's not an option. That's stupid as hell. TV or radio would work. I think radio. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archive. Okay, then what is Are in there? there? no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Is it still in the office? I hope he's... Right on, right on. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend still distracted all right perfect search. nice i'll call you back once i've got the radio okay We're so he's save him forest peggy hey, pipe it down works, a bit he might even save the whole town holy your optimism is uh, is a bit much but i like it let's make it happen we're close let's make it happen peggy how can we fail i mean it's a lot of ways man a lot it's of ways a plan with steps yeah get the radio plant it in the secret archives lure the killer and oh call incoming from the reporter putting it through now nash hello i'm here nash, i'm here i'm here yeah hello i'm here is everything okay i found the radio it's okay right perfect where I thought it would be. it's all coming together i'm just gonna turn it on quickly make sure it's still got some juice turn the volume Please, turn the volume down we don't want that thing blasting just yet 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Just no, no. I, I just, you know, you just back back up plan. You know, just gotta make sure you know what you're doing. Not the trying to. It works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. For ho who's who, who's Hopkins? For Hopkins. For Hopkins. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. What? If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? Oh. I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, Peggy. Yeah, Peggy. What happened? We can do it. We can do it, man. What the... But wait. We're the radio. We can just be oh. quiet until you're ready. Oh, Peggy. Oh, Peggy. We can fucking do this, Peggy. Peggy, we can... Oh, my God. If you can do that, then... Yo. Yeah. Sure. 189.16. I know that's your station. Perfect. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? Uh, 189.16. The best and only. 189.16. The Scream. Gallows Creek's best yeah. and only phone in talk show with me, Forrest Nash. Ah! And Peggy. Anyways. Jesus Christ. Seriously, bro? I've got we had to make sure. Silent, but I'm tuned in. Okay, perfect. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Let me think. This is where I really need to think. I don't want to say the boardroom. I want to say it, but at the same time, the killer's not a dumbass. He's going to go to the boardroom. He's going to realize he's in the security room. He's going to turn on all the, the cameras and find out where he's at. <sighs> Maybe the archives? I know. He's already checked everything. He's already checked the archives. He's already, he's already checked the kitchen. So if we send him to the archives, he won't be there for so long. Don't respond when prompt for 30 seconds. Way to put me on fucking blast, game. Seriously? Jesus Christ. He did turn off the cameras, but can he just turn it back on? Wait, the kill's in the archives. Wait, the kill's in the archives? I thought he's in the office. He's not in the office. He's up... He's not in the archives, he's in the editor's room. Oh, the guy is in the archives. That's right, that's where he went to get the fucking... Oh my god, bro, I wish he's killed this guy. He's not gonna go to the kitchen. Kitchen's small, and maybe it is the boardroom, dude. Maybe it is the boardroom. I just really hope, man. I just... <clears throat> I, I'm gonna say boardroom. If he turns, <laughs> hey, we we have insurance, okay? Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office. But he hasn't but searched it. We haven't it. seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Let's make the call. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. I know he turned off the TVs, but what if the killer's like, wait a minute, this looks like a security. Let's turn this shit on. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Okay. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Seems like it. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Uh. I'll call the killer Jackass. I'll impersonate Mr. Russell, right? I mean, that just seems like. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? <clears throat> I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Hey, uh, yeah, though. I'll give you an A for effort. That was Ooh, Pe call Peggy. What? We're a fucking team. Hello? That was killer. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Uh, here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Okay. Just give me the signal. Lock it in. I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I... Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can 
can see under it. Well, then block it with something. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. Hold on. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? What were the options? No, we're not hiding a secret archive. We're putting a thing there. Under the desk, no, he could see you. Hide among the cubicles? No, because once it... Well... It's either the cubicles or the cabinet. It's either or. Yeah, he said the cabinet will take him a bit to get into. So then it'll take him a bit to get out of as well. And what if the cabinet, what if he closes it, he gets, he's stuck in there. If we're staying quiet until. But no, if, we, if he hides in the cubicles, he's going to be too far away to lock the door. I think cabinet. Yeah, cabinet. Cabinet's the best bet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. Yeah, this is victory, you mean? Hello? Turn the radio up to full blast now. Keep it near the exit. Anything. We're trying to lock him in the room. Until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Listen to your old pal, Russell! Yo. Too soon? Yo. Forrest, and shut up! Forrest, I don't think... That was enough time for him... <laughs> it's a lot of pressure i didn't there was a timer i saw a timer i think oh damn it's time holy hell first first attempt here we go hide in your cabinet all right well this is it i'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now i just don't say anything until i've had time to hide how do i know Got when it? he's ready we know the plan you can trust us here we go Okay, I guess he has to say something. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man. I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive. Come on down, whistling man. Come and get a knuckle sandwich. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! First try, by the way, first try. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the Whistling Man. All right, I won't reload anymore. Was there ever any doubt? Seriously? Come on, Maurice. Was there ever any doubt? Come on. God, it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call Perfect. Perfect. I feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the gallows reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what It'd be an brings. honor. It'd be an honor. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. Take care, Maurice. There we are, folks. What a legend. The whistling man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. A jazz and breath. And play some killer tunes. <laughs> I see what you, Peggy. I see what you did there. Oh, but Peggy, I like you. Get it. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? 
Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. God bless. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. I like to say mystery. There you go. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Too bad. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Too bland, too bland. Okay. Did anyone move with you to nope. Gallows Creek? Solo. Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Uh, you're sorry? Why did you do it? You're sorry? Why? Did you do it? Of course not. I only... I'm just messing with you. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. Well, we're you switching are. it up. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Ah. Hmm. Let's just say, oh, I don't want to pry. Don't want to say, what a coincidence. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. Oh. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Wow. Don't call me Peg. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay. I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. All good. Any siblings? Don't say Funny Peg. you mention that now. No. Not anymore. Damn. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Older or younger? Hold on. Probably older. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Real. Do you want to go check it out? Me? You <sighs> sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. Right. One of Reggie's K-Fam regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. All right. Gee, thanks. <sighs> Gee, thanks, Peggy. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. All right. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Well, damn. Do I have, like, hello? Like, she says, I'm on air. We're both on air. Hello. There's no I in this. We're a team. Let's, you know, let's go see what the hell is going on. And then, uh, what am I doing? Do I have the cooties? The the little germs? The little germs? Why? Why You can't. You hand me the key onto the... And just, I, I thought we were bonding. That's cool. Second key That's to... That's not opening. Second key. Okay. I yo. I feel like I heard it. I'm hearing things. Where are the stairs at? The the, it's the stairs. Oh, okay. There we go. Someone ring the buzzer. So downstairs, huh? Welcome to K fam. A uh, tape. Tape. Play okay. on air. All right. I feel like I'm a death note now. Back here. Uh, okay. 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 A map. I feel like this will be important later. I don't know why. Oh. Needs a key. Alright. What if I just don't play, you know? But we could use the views, you know what I'm saying? We could use the views. Alright, lock it, yo. Let's be smart about this. Lock this door. 
Or not, that's cool. Awesome. All right. Uh, we're going to throw you right here. All right, yo, Peggy, we have a, a theme bomb. Oh. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? Nope. No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Boo. I will. You read my mind. Hold on, this thing likes to jam a lot. Hold on. Time to pay the... Yo, I'm not... Time to sit there. Hold on, hold on. Re re rewind, rewind. Eject it. I... I damn. I fo Oh, I folded that shit. That shit was turned down. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to... Pay the price. Time to... Pay for lies. to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to edge. Oh, punish you all. This, this what? All night. I did not enjoy that. On oh, God. What the hell was that? I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, be careful. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Damn! Now that has a good ring to it. That was pretty killer. Hey, we had a call come in. Oh, okay. Well, let's put him on. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with... F Ash! Shut up and uh, listen to me! Mr. I miss Russell? you. What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! Wait, what? The whistling man is gone! So... What happened? How is he gone? Hello? What, hello? Gone? what happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. Oh, did you take a warm shower? Damn, dude, how- What took you so long? I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Door was shut. Just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks and- Well, there was a bunch of us and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson. Before the cops come. Oh, they're bugging. Uh, a couple of drinks, I guess. Man, you know what? I would have done the same thing. Like, if, if I'm thinking about it, a couple beers here and there. After barely surviving a killer when he's locked, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I would have been tempted to do the same. Have you both got a screw loose? Oh my god, and Peggy, I'm about to screw you, dog. Get off my dick. Seriously? You know what the whistling man's done tonight. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? Look around I'm the room. I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. Not so weird. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... She's a conspiracy. Could... You know what I'm trying to say. It keeps me... Do you think he's some kind of ghost? She likes Peggy? conspiracy theories. It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? There's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. Oh, baloney. I said baloney. Look, Bruh. I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you 
And everyone listening, do the same. He seems really spooked. <laughs> Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial Damn. killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? <sighs> He's not a demon, Peggy. Did you not hear him, yeah, Peggy? You're he said baloney. Right. But what do we do now? Uh, we pray. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what can we do? Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect. <laughs> Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right. Folks, we need to take a quick break. A quick break. This one's Air out for the place all a bit. folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. Bird is the word. All right, Peggy, what's up? What's good? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Okay. Uh, sure. Just go get it. Pushy. Peggy the pusher. Okay. Play me ASAP, off air, okay? You couldn't just... Man, we could really... Hello? Wait. Just open the door and we could talk. That's whatever, dude. All right. She has to be a germaphobe. That's what it is. She's a germaphobe. Uh, I can't forget that. Germaphobe, okay. Just give me a second. Okay. Off air, so now... Are we off the air? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. The subtitles are broken. It's pissed me off. still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank. I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current... The subtitles. Forest Knight, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher. Okay. Uh. We were friends. Are you a big fan of Roddy? I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my God. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe he didn't tell me he sent you his new single. Uh, we have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay. Roddy this, Roddy that. I know a better Roddy. Roddy Rich. The fuck we doing, man? Apparently, I don't think our character likes this guy, so therefore I don't like him too. They didn't mail it to us, huh? Were we buddies? How come you don't want to mail it to me? You don't trust me? Did I slander your name? You hate me? Where is the fucking thing? At the receptionist desk? Here? Um, I don't see any. I see no. Bought for now. The mail. Hello. Where's the mail? Is 
that it? This must be it. There it is. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Nice. I was just using it as a paperweight thing. Okay. Hey, did you get it? I have Got it. Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. There you go. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Here we go. Wow. God, Roddy's the... The Insta glazing is insane. This is your average Drake fan. What the fuck? Brother, it's been three seconds. It's been three seconds. It was so Ass. good. Homegirl started moaning yes. off rip. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. We won't get sued anymore. Hooray! We keep our money! Our whopping $5 is still in our pockets. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Oh. Hey, you just talked through the whole song. Holy oh, yap. Whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. For sure. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. Oh, that person's cooked. I really cooks. hope it's nothing serious. Way to go, Peggy. Over here going your little spiel about... Roddy. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy. What's <laughs> up, Murphy? Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. All right, I'm here. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. He's leveled up. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, and how to love. Most importantly, how to love. Oh, okay, Tumblr. Aww, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, chat. Happy birthday in the chat. Happy birthday in the chat. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Yo, okay, dog. Dog, listen. I understand you have balls of steel. Probably so hung it's touching the floor. You have a son. Okay? Don't call out the killer. What is bro thinking? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruin. Yikes. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. On his birthday. Not only on this day... Will it be his birthday? It will also be the anniversary of his father's death. Well, now, motherfucker, dude, this guy. How many dumbasses are in this town? How many dumbasses are in this town? Jesus Christ. Come face me, a true warrior. Yeah. At the gallows waste disposal plant. And guess what? This is a bad idea, Murphy. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes. Master Robbins Dojo Series. Oh, because that's going to help you. We got ourselves Cobra Kai. Watch out. Man, you just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh, no. <sighs> and there he goes. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Yeah, run a commercial quickly. Jesus Christ. This is crazy. My God. A father, a furry, and also a dumbass. He, he's just a jack of all trades. Maybe he might come through. Who knows? He Time sounds feral. Time to play a commercial. Okay. Oh, commercial. Okay. Um, we've already played that one. Let's play this one. Is this the fucking? Oh, excuse me. Oh. Ball is life. Okay. Yep, ball is life. Grab a cassette. We need to play a commercial. <laughs> I 
from downtown. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we gotta keep the lights on. Yep. Play a commercial. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> okay. Right here. This is the money shit right here. Boom. A little to the left. Always, always. I'm known to go heavy on my left. There it is. That's my shot. Okay. I'm still. There it is. Come on, boys. Swish. Play a commercial Was that swish? And move on. Was it? That... <sighs> what the fuck, man? Okay. Sure. Oh. Shit. No way we're playing the fucking thing. The karate class that homeboy just learned from. The irony. You wanna double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then step into Master Robbie's Deadly Dojo. Step into Master Robbie's Deadly Dojo, man! Shout out to Murphy! Murphy, you got this! Master Robbie! Hell yeah, man. Come on now. Hype him up, hype him up, hype him up. Not bad. Just kick some ass. Hopefully, hopefully Murphy learned some some good things from there. Never forget the element of surprise. Oh! Oh my God! The tornado technique and karate love making. Call today. Wow. Do people really buy this kind of thing? I would have bought it. Don't pretend like you're not interested. You got me. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them. I yeah, guess. I definitely would. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Back to the show, please. Keep it professional. Wow. Keep your cool. What a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless you go. they pay us more, then it's time I'm to get so the show clean moving with along it. with our next caller. I'm so clean with it. Like, hello? Murphy talks about using it, using that class to go attack the killer. I play the ad, ask Murphy. We got a caller. I'm made you for this lifestyle. Do. I know what to do. What's going on? Welcome to 816.16, The Scream. When you're ready, shut the music off. That, that was it correct? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Force Nash. <sighs> Colgate. Seriously. You want a mint? Are you okay? Do you need help? Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? Okay, back up from the mic a bit. Okay, what's your name? He's coming for me. Swear. Jesus. Okay, listen, caller, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them? We or? saved everybody sure so far. Did. You're in safe hands. Okay. You're good. Okay. Deep We're breaths. Help you. Jazz breaths. Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. That's not the plan. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm. I'm. Oh God. Relax, relax. Can you hide? Maybe you can hide in your house. He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Call a neighbor. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. Wow, they must hate you. Everyone's out of town, and you're the only. Yikes. There's just a fraternity down the street. Okay. You live by a frat house. Yes. Perfect. A party. Perfect. Take out coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. 
what the hell am I doing here? What? They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Jeez. <clears throat> Good pun. What's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? Anything. If I knew so where we could call she was, them. I might know, but... What's your location? Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them there you to go. go and help. There you go. Virginia. Or we could call the place. Order takeout Wait, from? How are we gonna get the number? I don't know. Jesus. Uh, try to remember. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order. Here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Whatever. You, you can't be a hero for everybody, you know what I'm saying? What a chump. I know him. You love him. You gonna calm her ass this down? Yeah, Ryan but like, Jesus Christ, I've been calling everybody down. Breath. Peggy, what places do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree. And you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. Let's get calling. That's it, you think. Hmm. We have a grilling spree cassette, don't we? No, I don't think so. Hey, let's just start calling. Right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to. There you go. Right? Perfect. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. So what? we got to order. There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from. Call the takeout pretending to be from the frat. Place an uh... order and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Uh, why is this town so complicated, bro? Well, let's not waste any time. It has then. to be pizza. Everybody That's gets pizza. Everybody gets pizza out of fry. You're at a party, you're drunk, what do you want? Pizza. Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door Okay. Now. Thanks, Peggy. Thank you, Peggy. Where the options? God, where to start? In the kitchen. What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? Pizza, pizza You're or a wings. Food critic, right? Chad or Brad or. Uh... <sighs> I just have to look around. Look around, look around, look around, look around. Craft and work. Hammered buzz. Grilling spree. I better see what's on this tape. But also, you would want to grill, too, if you're getting drunk. Trust me, I know. Hold on, we're off the air, right? Let me listen to this. What are the chances of that? <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Sounds like a frat party to me. Oh, no. We've had a beer. That's a tragedy. What am I gonna do? Spray will give you a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins this Tuesday. Did we win this Tuesday? That's right. Order a meal bill from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins. A free six pack? Righteous. You heard me. Six beers if Gallus High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we. <laughs> See, I would say the pizza joint, but the pizza joint called us to advertise their place. So they're not well known just yet. I don't think a party's gonna call a joint that, that's barely up and coming. And if they were listening to the radio, they would hear about the girl talking about the frat party, then they would have called us. You know what I'm saying? This is a well known business, a well known industry. Hello, it's been around for a while. There's a fucking cassette tape about it. Murder them. <laughs> Me too, Billy. Me too. And the free beer. Come on down to Grills. We're gonna call Free five, beer five, five, with five, grills? Five, and gilfs? We've got barbecue you'll die for. 
This has to be it. It has to be this, this place. A free six pack. Huh. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Forrest. Do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? Lay it on I me. have a feeling you're going to tell me. Spare ribs. Ball Christ. That's something. So that has to be that. But let's go check around. I prefer pizza, not a beer person. Okay, we gotta think like a frat, okay? You gotta think. Hello? Damn it! Sorry, I gotta offend it because I'm a fucking beer person. So, what are we doing down here? It's actually a very good mop equipment right there. I ain't gonna lie. Very good mop equipment. I'm gonna say. I wanna say the grill spree. That just seems like the proper joint to be going to. It's a record. Truck. Oh, buckets. Hold on. Pixel pop. From below, it came. Shit, I'm always coming from below you. <laughs> All right, lock in, yo. Same. Go Gallows High, I guess. Ah, they win the big game. You win the big game. If somebody wins a game, you hear free beer, you're there. Perfect. We got it. Come on now. Hell yeah. Listen, I'm a simple man. I hear free beer, brother. Where the hell do I sign the waiver? I don't care. Give me all the free beer you got. Alcohol poisoning, I don't fear nothing. Let's get it. All right. Hey, find anything useful? Sure did. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Sure am. Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Radio. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? We're calling the grilling spree. Call grilling spree. Okay. Damn, hello? So I'm actually on a phone call. Line. Chap, nothing's wrong with my internet. It's I think it's just y'all. I think it's Twitch. Yeah, I'll check for y'all though. Wait a moment, though. Yep. A thousand down. Sorry, I'm just clearing this out the way so everybody in the chat can stop saying, Guy, we, I think George in yeah, I think George. Chat, listen. I do this for a living, okay? I would know. I would know. I'm a radio host. Militia, leave that in. Yep, a thousand down, a thousand up. We're good. We're chilling. Refresh your dookie ass spectrum internet, okay? You're through to growing spray. You've got barbecue you'll die for. Shit, let's see. Uh hey dude! Let's not say Fratman calling. Should I say Fratman calling? If we see if I was for Snash, I would be like, hey, dude, you know what I'm saying? I think hey, dude, is the best. Hey, dude, what's going on? There you go. Uh, can I just have your order? I want ribs. Big, Big ribs. ribs juicy ribs. Burger. Right. And where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know, the frat house. Same address. All right. We'll get it to you soon. Leave a oh, note. And, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? A note? Okay. You better tip for this. Will do, sir. And I tip nothing but the best. Wait. 
Perfect. We should put a song on. We should. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Yeah, the flow. Go with the flow. Now it's time to go with the flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. Nice. Hopefully this job will be a fucking flow, man. Jesus Which Christ. of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, <sighs> wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Oh yeah? I was about to say, equally how? Equally awful? You mean equally awful. No, equally good. But if I had to order, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So okay. between grilling spree and chalupa coppers. I think grilling I spree. Mean, it depends. On the scenario? Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair, fair enough. enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Okay. It's pizza, though. See, people like you make me sick. Just because it's pizza doesn't mean it's always going to be the best. Okay? There's, there is some filthy pizza out in the world. Okay? Okay? Pizza's not always good. I question your taste buds. Time to turn the music off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, ah! Forrest Nash. Uh, this is Dudley from the Brotherly Fraternity of Engineers. <laughs> I have a note to call you. You hey, sure do. Weird question. Uh, but you aren't the only ones on your street tonight, are you? No, sir. I think everyone on the street is in tonight. Uh, yeppers. Uh, I just visually confirmed it. Uh, I see cars in the driveways and a couple of lights yeppers. on. Yeppers. Uh, everyone's in. Yeah. Gnarly, uh, dude. And you've not been throwing a loud party all night, have you? I certainly hope we haven't disturbed our neighbors. Uh, why do you ask, sir? Forrest, we have a new call coming in. There's no way it's the wrong house. Everything... Wait, no. What? The fucking... The fucking place said, yeah, we were getting orders for this house the, the whole night. Everything lined up. Everything lined up! Different frats? Forrest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, The Stream. Forrest, it's the whistling man. He's at the door. He's... Oh, my God. It's you, isn't it? Clive, I didn't stop Live. I didn't talk. I think she was meant to die. Oh, dear God. Poor Virginia. I'm a fucking radio host. Okay? I'm a radio host. You killed her! You killed her! You can save her! Shut the hell up! She's gone! Accept it, damn it! Oh my god. <sighs> it's over. It's over. It's over. I'm not gonna go back. Dude, all the signs led to that. They won the grill place? Free beer? Free beer! Free a six pack! Yeah, the pizza place had free beer too, but so did the fucking grill place. A six pack of beer. Ponty's ad also had free beer, but it was just up and running. Oh my God. Did y'all like not hear my fucking thought process before? Where was this when I said, oh, M Ponty seems like a new fucking place. Now everybody's like, dude, he fucked up. It was Ponty's. God damn it. God damn it. Oh my God. Your thought process makes sense. Thank you. Did your best, Forrest. To ever Thank you! Oh my fuck, chat! Take some notes! Take some notes! Holy! 
they won free beer. The ad sounded like everybody was down at a fucking party. Come on. And then she said, Clive, I didn't talk. Did she know the guy? I feel like she was meant to die. I feel like she was meant to die. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. If the editor cuts out the video, did she actually die? I think she was meant to die, yo. No, she wasn't meant to die. How do you know? How do you know? Oh, don't tell me you've played this game and fucking... Or you saw another YouTuber play it. Everyone listening. They prank called the pizza before? You can't save everyone. Damn. 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 Last save was 103 seconds ago. She's dead. She's cooked. She's cooked. Unless we go all the way back, she's cooked. Things look bad, but please don't lose faith. We will. St the prank callers, they did want pizza. Oh, the prank callers were the fucking frat guys. That was so early in the game. How was I supposed to remember that? Oh my god. Oh. No, if I if I go back to this load, it's gonna be so long ago. I'm not gonna redo all that. It's tough, man. It's over. Stop this whistling, man. And I think Virginia may. Damn it! It builds character. It makes the story better. What the hell is this? We're in a horror game. People are meant to die. Damn. I can't take this. I can't take this. Lock it in. You've just given us the clue we need. <sighs> What was that about Clive? Clive, I didn't talk. Yeah, Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. See, but she gave us good information. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. It's time to scooby -Doo In the meantime, shit. looks like we have another caller. Another caller? Hello, Collar. You're live on the stream with me. Chad, listen, I'm not actually pissed off, all right? So it's just character, man. Just character. Nash. Make it interesting. The story more interesting. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. Forrest Gump. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Ooh, terrible. Yeah. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe? Hold on, bro. What a child. Tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. It's fucking Ponty's. Good for you, friend. Good for you, friend. I'm glad you're keeping safe and busy. Thank you. Oh, I'm really living the American dream. You know what's crazy? This Ponty guy. He's clearly listening to the radio. He knows frat people are ordering the pizza. Why did he not tell us? Imagine if Ninja got a low taper fade. <laughs> Here in my business. <laughs> You must really, really love your work. You must really, really love your work. Oh, I do. My small business really is my whole world. That's beautiful, man. That's truly, truly. Is it like your firstborn? That's about, hey man, I hope it goes well for you. Hang up. What's your small business? <sighs> oh, well, I'm not really big on right. promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Ponty's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Ponty, no! No free ads! <sighs> I wonder what would have happened if we called Ponty's instead. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. I'm so I'm so glad Peggy's here, bro. I'm so glad Peggy's here. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, truly. 
Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The, the Scream. Scream. And tonight's not. Hold on. 911, stand in. Hi. Hello? Eugene. Am I on air? Yes, sure, you are. Caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. That's beautiful, man, truly. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze. Listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. That's beautiful. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah, Molly. I love me some Molly too. If you know what I'm saying. We planned what a to get dork. lost in the maze maze tonight to take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, this dude. I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Right. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? You should yeah, yes, you should be that's going home. Why I'm calling? Uh, go home to your parents, man. Eugene? You really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh... I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! No, I'm in the middle! No, 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 It'll no. It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh... Thanks again, Forrest. Brother. Good talk. Yo. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. <laughs> Molly can't whistle. Dude. Oh, my God. No, no. This is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Um, We'll get you out of this. Do you know? Okay, hold on. Let's, let's, do you know the way out? Eugene, do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember the way for us. Peggy, I don't get you. You're really pissing me off. Dog. He got to the middle somehow. No? Hello? Wait! I have the map! She's right! I Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. I called that! Dude! And for. Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I. I'll do it for Molly. Yeah, yeah, for Molly. Yeah, Please. think about Molly. Think about Molly. Do it for Molly. Do it for Molly. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Go ahead. Cue it up. Ah, uh, sure thing. You're gonna love this next track. He's in the middle. How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a Maze Maze fanatic. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Um. Maybe we should call Barbara, no? Like, if she's a fucking Maze fanatic. Last week. Hmm. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the Maze Maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has made I already have it somewhere. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh which one Receptionist is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Yeah, Barbara. Uh, for sure. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception, never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ah. Ring any bells? Nope. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I guess it's just the stress of. No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Right. Okay. We have a map. I'll, I'm going to go take another look, though, just in case. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure I have everything, but you know, it doesn't hurt to check again. Um, 
Meow. Ew. Mm, loves cats. Red flag. I'm joking. I'm just a dog guy. What is this? Oh, a ticket. Friday the 28th, 87. She threw it away. Oh, I'm pretty sure everything. Dude, this game is really cool. Okay, we have the map. I don't know what, like, the other... What's the point of the numbers? Scarecrow, pitchfork statue, realistic looking horse statue, pig statue, golden hay bales, tractor statue, farmer hat, mini barn. Mini barn's a dead end. Beehives. If he was to leave, he would need to go down. Okay, I already see the exit. I see the padding. Go down right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, left. Oh, what? No, I don't see the padding. That cucked me. Thank God I'm studying this before. Oh, this is. Yo. Am I? That cuts off, that cuts off this way. Up, this way, up, this way. Up. Whoa. If I go left, I can't go up. That's a dead end. If I go down, go around. This way, this way. That's a dead end. Everything leads to a dead end. How the... Let's start from the exit. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Down, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, left, down, right, down, left, down, left. Okay. I see it. Number 10 is blocked away. Up. So is number 9. Make a left. Go around. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, I got it. Ugh. Damn, that's a, that's, damn, that's a long ass maze. Okay. All right, I'm good. Any luck? Yep. I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. I got it. I got it. Oh, I have this shit down to a fucking... Oh, I got this shit. Eugene, you're a good hand. You're gonna see Molly. Think about Molly. Think about Molly. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Yeah, yeah. This is serious. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. Welcome back, Eugene. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. Okay. I just ran. That back guy really does how to reach I octaves. Am. Jesus! I'm at a crossroad. Facing a tractor statue. There are hay bales. Make a left. Cold on my right. Yeah, yeah, he needs to go up. On his right, go left, go left, go left, go left. Go left. All the way up. Take the first right you see when you make a left. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I, went. I went left. Then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creepy rocking horse on my left. So then behind you. Go backwards. Pigs in front of you go backwards. Go backwards. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Left, left, left. Go left. Eugene, put yourself together. I just want this I feel you, man. I want some top two, but preferably from a milf, but it's okay. A tiny barn in front of me. Tiny barn. And a scarecrow behind me. Nothing to my sides. Make a right, make a right. Scarecrow behind him, that's six, right? Right, 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 right. Go right. You better see a fucking beehive in front of you, dog. I can't run much more. Think of Molly! I just passed 
A cordon silo. Didn't see anything else. A coin silo. Please. Where do I go? I know, but where from the coin silo? He passed it? What does passing it mean? So then Go forward, no? Forward. Go forward. Okay. Here I go. He's cooked. He says he passed. What does that mean? He says he passed. This, uh, doesn't look right. Uh, no, no, I I'm going back to where I was. He's cooked. Jesus. Oh, shit. He's cutting through the walls. Where do I go? He just passed the corn slime and didn't see anything else on the way. Dog! I guess right now, right? Right? Right! We're going right! It has to be right! All right! I, I see it! Uh, I'm out! And my bike's still here! Go, go, oh, go, go! Oh my god! Thank you, Forrest! What can I say? I know my way around the fucking woods, around the forest. What can I say? It's in the name! I love you, Molly! For Molly. Uh, Heart to the chat for Molly. That was tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. My heart's going. Shame the maze maze got all cut up. Yeah, better it than Eugene, though. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Yikes. I mean, did you hear Eugene? I wouldn't want to leave home either. And thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember no, on God, though. On God. Like, hello? Homeboy can say, yeah, I survived the Whistling Man. As a matter of fact, I gave him a good lick, too. One, two, and then I ran like a little sis. You know what I'm saying? E Bro, what the fuck? Bro has a killer story. Know what I'm saying? That's automatic puss right there. Automatic puss. Report a Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up oh, for hell us, no. so take it away. Okay, let's see. Yeah, well, honestly, we just made Eugene a fucking puss magnet. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16. The, the Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Thank you. I don't know about wonderful, but, uh, thanks. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. Yeah. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. Sure thing, Don. All right, folks. Sexy as voice. is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. Yeah, it's not here. Where what is do you it? mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but, uh, we don't have it anymore. What? What are you talking about? Why? I threw it away. You, you threw it in the trash? You threw away no, a masterpiece. I, I threw it out the masterpiece window Masterpiece equal to today. the Beatles. Why would you do that? Why, why, why? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. Oh my god, how do you not like Peak? So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. I don't even know the song, but I know not it's Peak. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Uh. For shame, Peggy, for shame. For shame, Peggy, for shame. I know. Let's just play a different song. I don't think We've she's going to want that. We've got more things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Late Night Lurkers. How about that? 
listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. If you dare. Here comes Dawn in three, two, one. Of all the songs to request, why did it have to be that one? Oh, here comes Dude, Peggy. Peggy. What did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, oh Forrest, Roddy scrap this, the song. Roddy that. We have another caller. Okay, let's let's get it. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Murphy. Forrest. Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy. Murphy, what's going on? Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. You're alive. He clearly, I... he didn't a good, do a good oh. job. Why did I ever trust a guy named Master... Robin. It's okay, man. Should happen. <sighs> warned you not to. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Okay. Forrest, we need to do something. Okay. Goddamn Gleason. He came to the gallows waste disposal plant. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. He didn't kill you, why? I got a flashlight, but oh, oh, goddamn! I smell smoke. Oh. I think he started a fire. No, he's Hold definitely on, killing we'll you. Call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Can bro just use his fucking karate frog mindset, praying mantis centipede move on a door and bust it down? Like what? Peggy, get the fire department on the line. On it. What did he say he was at? He said he got. Knocked out, picked up, and thrown into where? Ever remember? A dumpster. All right. Now just come on, pick up. Yo, it's the fire Hi. department. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at That's the gallows right. waste disposal the, plant. The gallows waste. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? What? He... Oh, God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. Jesus. They can't do anything. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Yo. My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of... Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east. Okay! Oh, where, where? I, I lost everything already. Stand of Myers Lane. But he's... Okay, old. so that guy, last option's he's out of the way. Old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Oh, oh my God, thank God. Alex lives in the corner of Haddonfield Road, right next to Romeo Street. Romero Street. Hadden, 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 Hadden. Mara Street. There it is. He's he's the closest to it. There's Gallows Waste Disposal right there. Get this shit out the way. Who cares about the traffic? Gallows Creek Road closures. East side, MacReady Street will be closed from the 2nd to the 9th of September for maintenance. Residents will be unable to access the connected road between Rogers. I was about to just throw away useful information. Holy hell. From Rogers Avenue. From Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road. Haddonfield Road. Where's Rogers Avenue? Rogers Avenue. Residents will be able to access the connected roads between. So these roads are not workable. Not usable. Okay. Whew. Jesus Christ. Stay right there. Um. Corner of Haddonfield Street and Romero Street. Where is Romero? Romero. Within the corner. So here. Brother, brother lives right across from Gallows. He could just take you and then go up. 
Oh, this? He's down here? That's his house? Right next to Ramirez Street. Yeah, so he could just take Haddonfield Road and he's there. They said the roads between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road is, is uh, under construction. Not the actual road itself. So he just walks out and goes up. I feel like that's the best option. But let's let's you know let's look at other ones. Catherine lives on West End of Myers Lane. West End never ever smoked weed. So here. So then no. She 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 can't go anywhere. She's stuck. So Catherine's out the option. Uh old man. We're not using an old man. Seriously, what's this one? Fire department, get more fire engines. Lol, true. Alex, I think Alex is the best. Alex is easily the best. There's one old, old guy. Why will we send an old, old guy into a smoking atmosphere and bro could barely even move? She really emphasized that the homeboy's old. There's just no way. Homeboy's going to walk. He's going to be 50 feet away from the fire <laughs> and die. No, it's okay. I don't. I don't mind them uh, giving ideas. Last save. But Alex can get past the intersection be between McReady and Wendy. I'm gonna cut you some slack, because my sister's nickname growing up was Wendy. Listen. Okay. Corner of Haddonfield, right next to Romeo Romero Streets. Boom, this is his house. He could go up on Haddonfield Road. Haddonfield Road itself is not under construction. Boom, up. Where does the old man live? East end of Myers Lane. See, he can't even move. Between Haddonfield and Rogers, all of this you can't use. So this is our best option. I'm pretty sure, right? This this has to, I'm confident, bro. I'm confident. I saved, I'm confident. I know where let's fucking lock it in. Alright, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Alex. Call Alex. All right, give me a second. I'm confident in this one. Holy shit, we have the man in the chat. Not only in the game, he's going in. I'm here, send me in coach. Oh my days, what a hero. Truly what a hero. All right, Alex, good luck. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct. Alex, you're gonna fucking make this, man. I believe in you. You got the information. I better see you type in the chat in a bit. Direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. You got it, man. I believe in you. Forrest, I'm getting a call. Is it Alex? Alex, let's see how you sound. Well Are you sure you can't? Oh. What's happening, Peggy? Alex was too far away, too slow. The plant burned down. It collapsed. So Murphy is... Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. What? Alex! You got tired? What? Really? Nah, put, put me in, coach. You fucking... Did. What the... My bad team, I let us down with my weak ass legs. Motherfucker skips legs then. Too slow, too slow, too slow. <sighs> Go back on the bench. Stay there. Someone rip up his contract. Nah. Nah, I'm reloading. I'm reloading. I have to reload. I have three freebies, let's say that. I've used one, this is my second one. But who else can go? No way it's the old man. The old man's the closest. The old man's the closest. If Alex couldn't make it from here to there, 
There's no way Catherine lives at the end of West lives at the west end of Myers Lane. All the way over here. She's not gonna make it, dude. It's the old guy. That's east. This is my chat. Homeboy really said that's east. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to sound any better by saying I think we need to send the old guy. I, I, I think we need to send the old guy. Is there a compass? Is there a compass? It's still the same. Nothing's changed. It's still the old guy. It's still the old guy. Oh, my God. Dude. Someone brought up a good point. The, the El hombre, you know, abuelo, what, he's been around for a while. Surely he has a blicky. Old man. Out in the fucking sticks. In the hickeys. I believe he is a firm believer of the Second Amendment. I think we sit in the old guy. He just needs some steroids. It's okay. The steroids is his fucking 12 gauge. I think we send him in. I think we... Pff, I'm not asking for the Avengers. I'm just asking for one average Joe. The road is closed. Dude, everything's closed. Residents will, will be unable to access the connecting roads between Rogers Avenue and Hayden Field. This is Rogers and this is Hayden Field. All these roads un, are unaccessible. The connecting roads. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We just got word. Old grandpa, let me in. Let me send me in. Send me in. Previously subbed for one month. You can't make this shit up. He did not make this account. He's actually here live. Dude, I sent in a kid. Are you sure you got this, man? Grandpa, do you have this? Let's go. No, I don't know. I got this. Bro. Bro, I think you need an inhaler, dog. And some oatmeal. I don't know, man. I don't know. <sighs> Fuck. Hey, do you have your gas tank with you? Can you backpack a gas tank and plug yourself up and like... Let's do it. Let's do it. I think it's time to do it. I've been working on my cardio. Okay, man. I'm trusting you. Yeah, because if Alex couldn't make it down a workable road that far, there's no way Catherine's going to make it. we got to send the old man. They want us to think, the game wants us to think the old man's a weak link. I say nay. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Catherine could be a track star. I feel like if she was a track star, wouldn't she tell us? A lot of people are saying, do Catherine. She would get there faster. Tr Brother, please tell me how she would get there faster. She lives right here. The roads between Rogers and Haydenfield, these roads are closed off. Militia, this game is so good, man. Our car probably. I don't. Where do y'all night? It's through what? Selective hearing is real, guys. Selective hearing. The roads are closed. The roads. Read. What would you fucking under the light? Give me this. Give me. Look. I'm doing old man. No, no. Fuck this. Fuck this. 
Jericho, he even has a badass name, man. We doing it. We're saying the Gramps. Gramps. Call Jericho. All right, give me a second. Oh, nah. He's cooked. He's cooked. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Wait. That was a different dialogue than before. Forrest, I'm getting a call. Oh, no. Are you sure you... It's fucking Catherine. Oh, my God. Where's Grandpa? Where's Grandpa? Grandpa. My B, I sold. Mother. It's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. I'm the dumbass here. Oh, my God, man. Do we reload? Do we re This will be my last time reloading. We fucked up every time for little Fernando. Yeah. For little Fernando. Holy fuck! How? All right, Forrest. Who should I call? Who uh, the call the furthest mother. Does this make sense? What's the date? What's the fucking date? No. No. Everything says October. No, what's the date? Wait. No, this is... September 3rd. Ugh. Call Catherine. I don't get it. I'm a failure. All right, give me a second. Brother, don't. <laughs> it makes sense, man. Oh, I believe you. I trust you, man. Yeah, no. You're so right. Just you just have a way of convincing me with this sentence. I don't know what it is. It just you just have a way of convincing me. It makes sense. You're right. Correct. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. That just doesn't make sense. All the roads between those two streets are closed. Call coming in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Hello, Catherine. Are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? The whole damn thing is up in smoke. I... Oh, God damn it. I'm going in. Do we have a Catherine in the chat? Thank God. Every time we had a motherfucker in the chat, they lost. Oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes stink. Um. Oh, wait. Waste disposal. Waste disposal. Right? Yes. Go to waste disposal. Yeah. Hey, uh... Got it. Okay, I'm here. I... What? Is he meant to die? Should I have asked questions? I should have asked questions. To recycling? 
I gotta reload, bro. I have to. Like, he did not go out a coward's way till he was fucking true to himself. What a G. <sighs> uh, I gotta. Murphy. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I was gonna let him die until I heard that. Epic last words, man. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Ridiculous. Who can help Murphy? Ridiculous. This, I swear, that's the last time I reload. Call Catherine. All right, give me a second. Ridiculous, man. Okay. So we have to ask her what she sees. They're on the way. And then recycle? I thought plant. he was thrown into a you garbage can. can. From there. I guess so recycle is the same thing, no? Call coming in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. I mean, obviously the same thing, but... Okay, oh. Hello, Catherine, are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? Do you see anything? Murphy, can you see anything at all? Yeah. I got a little flashlight. I was talking to Murphy? Looks like old cans. And now? I forgot they're on the same line. Now in recycle. Bottles and newspaper. What does it say on the newspaper? Who cares? The Henderson headline. What was that? My reception is terrible in here. Please, force, tell me where to go. Recycling. Go to recycling. Recycling. Got it. Come on, Catherine. Shit. The plant's messed up again. I can go to shredding or crushing. Which way? Murphy, do you know what part of the plant you're in? A dumpster, man. What do you want from me? <laughs> do you see anything? Just tell me what you can see, Murphy. I've already told you. I, I choked it. 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 Just a bunch okay, of so it's shredding. Shredding. Pants, newspapers. Okay. It has to be the shredder. It has to be the shredder. It has to be. It has to be. No way to crush her. Let me. Do you hear anything, Murphy? I hear my heart about to pound out of my chest. Put the receiver up to the lid. Turn it up. That sounds like, yo. Catherine, go to the crusher. Henderson! 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 In Henderson container. The lock is <gasps> I found him! Thank God! Let's hold ass! It's coming down! Oh shit!
for Fernando. For Fernando. We made it. Oh man. You saved my life. First time. First time. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I swear to you, now, I'm gonna raise Fernando to be like you. You know this town isn't too bad. I'm getting my money back from Master Robin. Hey, you just get home to your son, okay? We'll Damn do, fucking folks. straight. Damn fucking. Well, folks, Gallows Creek has two folk heroes tonight, Murphy and Catherine. I'm sure their deeds won't soon be forgotten. Great job, Forrest. No time to celebrate, though. We got a caller. You know what to do. All right, folks. Another of our good citizens is Let's on get the it. line. Let's see what they have to say. First try, first try, first try. The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallo. Oh, the mayor. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors. Right. During this awful time. Yeah. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of... Bro, she's trying to get good PR. Law and order. Oh, brother. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, brother! Jackass. Thank you. Thank you. Teddy, just... I'm about to... I'm about to... I'm about to... Mmm. Mmm. It's our mayor. Let's just... I want to make sure I get this out on air to all of Gallows Creek. You're a real prick, Teddy. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my I'm father, outside. Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200. Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. Shut the hell up, seriously. You know what? I do. Oh, really? Whippy Kaye. A problem that's ruining our town. What, you? you know what it is? Does it run with Freddy? Emergency, not problem. I didn't ask about a problem. I said emergency. The problem is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and- You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it- Your producer sounds a little- So he's sexist. Sounds like, brother. Unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Sexist, racist? Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when Shut I up. take office. The moral decay of... Yeah, and jackass. that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. Amen. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. That guy pissed me off. We'll be right back after these messages. Yep. Let's uh, play me on the air. Let's... This is the only one we have left. Yeah, this, I think this is the only way I've left. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! 
We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Corn Hole, Corn on the Oh, cob, yeah, we are on the sticks. Music, can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Train. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, 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 hay Pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest. Well, damn! Board, off. I zoned out for a second. Brother's still going. Okay. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. From what? From what? What did he do? Was he sand licking? What happened? What, what what did he partake in for him to pass away? I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here for us. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Cool. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Caller on line one. You know what's crazy, dude? Should I be a, a YouTuber and call it there? Till the next stream? How close am I to being done? Does anybody know? I think you're like halfway. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Lock in. Uh, hello, caller. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? What's going on? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. Yikes. Okay, hide. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. Where are you? Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me. What's your name? You cool. Relax. You okay? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Carrie. Okay, Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Upstairs. Let's go to the murder cell since the anniversary of his death, brother. End of a hall? Uh, there's, there's a bathroom like on the entrance and closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? How do I know? <sighs> closet. I feel like closet is too obvious. Maybe go to the bedroom behind the bed. I think bedroom, dude. I think bedroom. I don't know, man. Why? I, I don't. I think bathroom is the worst option. I think bathroom is the worst option. It has locks. So does a bedroom. I say bedroom because you can hide. Bathroom is only one hiding spot. Sure, you can lock it, but if it's locked, you'll know. Bedroom, you can jump out a window. You can hide under a bed. 
closet. You're kind of fucked if you, if he finds you in the closet. I think better, man. There's a window in the bedroom. See, that's what I'm thinking. Go to the bedroom. Okay. Don't forget, it's a kid. Exactly. Even better. The youthful. They fall down, pump their adrenaline, they'll be fine. He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can. I don't think she should move. 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 Don't move! Till next stream, guys. Till next stream. You know what I'm saying? Till next stream. Very cool. Very cool. Ah. Oh, no! Forrest! What is okay, this? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke. Jeez. Oh Wait. hell no! There's a killer loose. What is going on? Isn't that Jimmy? That wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. Oh, the kid. man. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. Uh, you're sick, Jimmy. He's out there, Jimmy. I think we should warn him. He's out there. But let's be a. We should be a responsible adult, huh? We should be the responsible adult and say go home. He's still a kid. Yeah, he deserves the worst, but like. I mean, both of these will warn him in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Wait, he's not a kid. Well, he sort of is. He's out there, Jimmy. You know he's really out there tonight, Jimmy, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's just whistling night, man. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? <laughs> is that you? Is Wait. That you? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh, uh, wait. Oh, no. Who, uh, who are you? Oh, no, man. Everyone, get inside. Everyone, run. Give yes, time. but not much. not much. Fucking Jimmy died. <laughs> oh my god. Holy hell. Way to go, Jimmy. Seriously. Holy fuck. That's our quarterback for you. That's our quarterback, fucking dork. Oh my god. Hey, rip your scholarship, loser. Way to go, dude. Way to go. Truly. Forrest, we have to. 
Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Yep. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and... Oh, of course. The van. Who's got the key? Interesting. Jimmy had them. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Of course. <gasps> Carrie, stay with me. You're the leader of the group. You guys. Okay, okay, it's gonna be okay. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Right. Right. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's gotta be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. <sighs> if only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern, Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Forrest, listen. Yep, she's the smartest. Well, we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... Of course it's a Chad. No, no, Chad. Of out course, of of us, Chad. You're not the one to... Step it out of line. Everything Jesus okay? Christ. Yo, no. Carrie, keep them in check, man. <sighs> We're figuring out a plan. The only one with common knowledge, common sense. Jesus. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Oh, wow. Or else these idiots are going to get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Oh, Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friend. Oh, God. We don't... Well, hello? How, how, why am I there? I'm, I'm not there. I'm not there. How am I going to tell you what to do? What to tell and pick people, certain people to do a certain task? Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Stop playing. What are we doing? What the fuck? She's got to be smoking dicks. <gasps> These damn kids never learn. Uh, you okay? Are you okay? Uh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> what, bad joke? Sorry. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna end it there. We're like halfway through the game. I'm pretty sure we're halfway through the game. I think that this is the perfect spot. Keep y'all hostage till next stream. Dang, dang, dude, dang. All right, but I'll most likely, if I'm not live tomorrow, I'll, be, I'll for sure be live the next day. All right? Yeah, I'm going to save right now. Space for one. All right, okay. Yo, this game is so good, man. No, like, actually, this game is so good. Dude. Very good, very good. This game, I've never had a game, like, have my heart race that fast. Super good game, super good game. I most likely will be live tomorrow. Like this shit's so fucking. Oh wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's see. A poor thing got tough. <laughs> Jesus. And that's all, folks. Damn, you gotta hit though. Till next time. Mm 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 mm. -mm. Continuation. Droid starves his mods. He has locked in his basement. Lucid, you're stepping out of line. Don't you want bread tonight? Someone's not getting a fucking piece of loaf. Lock it in, guys. Seriously. Droid, you're just proving Luce's point. Holy fuck! Someone get this guy a golden sticker. A golden star sticker now. No way, for real? Oh, whoa, whoa, who would have thought? Jeez Louise, that's crazy. Swear. I didn't know that. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere. Where are we at? Por favor, jefe. <clears throat> 
downstairs, I heard. What was the last thing we did? Oh, we need to save Carrie, right? They're at a party. At the fucking Whistly Man's house party. They're at his house to throw a party with the frats. Dumbasses. Okay. And Jimmy's dead. All right. Okay. <laughs> what a chump. Go see if I can... Loser. <laughs> Loser. Find her desk. Dumbass. She has something we can use. Wait, what are we doing? Maggie said her desk is downstairs. What are we doing downstairs, though? Wow, who would have thought? Check Genie's Jen Jen Genie's desk for something that might help save the teens. All right. Like I better get some sort of like town hero golden sticker type shit. You know what I'm saying? I better get a statue of me. Just a erected statue of me in front of the mayor's home with my cock out. A key to the city, for real. No, truly. Something that would help? What here will help them? Barb, I don't know how to well, say no. this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends, though. Brad. Friend zone. Yikes. PS, send me five bucks for the festival tickets. Lol. Oh, that's why she didn't go because all three of them were supposed to go. Oh, gotcha. Yikes. Hey, but she better not forget the five bucks, though. Not for real. Cash out, Venmo, Zell, PayPal. What here can save these guys? Tape. From below it came, and it grabs your nutsack. Oh. Wait. Is this something from here, though, no? I'm checking her desk. Um. Sorry, it felt like I was at the fucking Bahamas for a second. I got away from this fucking horrid story. I'm traumatized, all right? Which one is, is this not her desk? I thought she was a receptionist, is it not? So many locked doors, so few keys. Disturb, no, she's an intern. Oh. So then where does the where the hell does the answer be held at? In the janitor's closet? Interesting. By the door to the left. Ah, oh, yes, because I just make so much sense as to where I'm at. By the door to the left. By the door to the left. Carpet. I need a key to get in there. Do you need a key to get into the egg? <laughs> Brother, what? Nah, no. What do we do? There's a fire. Well, hello? Nah, no mama's way. What the hell are we doing? Intern room, intern, intern. Where's the intern? Hello, Miss Intern. Maybe she's over here. Beast 4278 oh, yeah. gifted a tier one sub to Thank you for reminding me. Five. Shut the hell up. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. They would have an intern up here. That's all right. That's all right. They got her Jeez. sleep. This is. They really tucked Janie away. Yep. Interns. That shit's so sick of them, not gonna lie. Alone? Good job on a new job. All right. Hello. Friendship quiz. This might work. Yo. Yo. What happened? What did I do? Did I break something? I'm sorry, Genie. 
Because Billie Jean is not my love. What was that? What was that? Hello? I'm armed. I have a... I have... Pick up the scissors, chump. I... I have a mug. Fear me. Okay. Okay. Oops. Butterfingers. Genies and Carrie's friendship quiz. Oh, yeah. They're friends. The BFFs for lifers. You think they have matching bracelets? You think they made like a, a blood pact? <laughs> what a leap. <laughs> matching bracelets to a blood pact. <laughs> uh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This one I will let slide. Hold on. Hold on. You play down? Code droid at checkout, yup. Damn straight. <laughs> Damn straight. Damn straight. Come on now. Lock it in. All right. Beating the alerts again. Butterfingers. Who put this on? Oh, wait, I did. <laughs> Damn. Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's 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 study. Let's study, right? We should study. We should study. Damn. This is a lot of Oh, okay. Most likely to peak Mount Everest. Heather. If someone finds David hot. Most likely to win the award for the worst poker face. Cynthia. Most likely to end up in prison. Seth. Okay, so Seth is crazy. Seth is crazy. Seth has the best opportunity, the best chance to go toe to toe with the whistly man. With the blow my whistle, baby. Most likely to escape prison, Jennifer. Jennifer needs to be the one to run away if she has that finesse. Okay? If she runs away and calls people for extra help, you know what I'm saying? Most to become an, an Olympic athlete. Okay, never mind. We need David. David and Seth. Those are going to be the, the hard carries. The tanks of the team. Carrie, nowhere on the fucking list. She's the brains, clearly. All right. Is it back? I swear. Oh, hell. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's okay. We still got some some space in the, uh, in the noggin. Okay. All right. Most likely to pass their driving test without any errors. Jimmy. Jimmy is the getaway driver. Most likely to win an Oscar. How is that going to help us? I don't know. They're going to start pretending that they're getting killed. Oh, Jimmy's dead. Oh, Jimmy died. Oh, hell. Our best. He's the one with the car. No shit. Oh, All right. Most likely to win an Oscar. Maybe they can like really reach, reach the heart of the whistling man. Put on their best act to be like, dude, I'm about to lose my edgy streak. Please let me leave. Please. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Most likely to be everyone in, in go-karting. Okay, so Scott or Scott needs to be the driver. Most likely to trip or running away in a horror movie. Jimmy's already fits the criteria. Fits the criteria. Most likely to end up in a car crash. Scott's not driving. He's most likely to beat everybody in go-karting, but he's also most likely to crash. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing? Oh my god. Okay. I have to decide how her friends do what, and I'm not even on the scene. How does this make sense? How does this make sense? Whatever. Lock it in. We're winging this hey, shit. You find anything that'll help us out? Yeah. I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one. Whenever you're ready. We'll do. Are we ready, dude? Let's check the desk one more time. We ready? Maybe we're... No, no, no. We're ready. There's nothing else on the desk. We're fucking ready. I'm confident. I'm confident. I don't plan on reloading, but I will save. I don't plan on reloading, but I will save. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs i heard all right i'll go see if i can 
can find her desk. That's crazy. That's what fell over. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Lol. Laugh it up, chat. Seriously. Now go ahead. Ruffle. All right, lock it in. I don't do that shit. What am I, a loser? All right, let's get it. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. Yep. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one. Whenever you're ready. Well, let's, uh, here's hoping. When you're ready, shut the music off. This is Forrest Nash. Back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Real. Carrie, are you there? You still here with yes. us? We've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. All right. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. Uh, Bet. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay. First things first. We'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. Then Heather. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. <laughs> Homeboy's name really is in a serious scenario. They're still gonna call him hot David boy. Hell nah Hot David should even be any of the options like what the hell what a cringy ass name. We need Heather clearly Heather's got this Yes, Heather he picked you now, please stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies Part two the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road Before we drive out of here. We need someone to pick the lock a like likely to be in prison Seth, Jennifer Seth. and Scott all want to do it but likely to escape from prison. Jennifer. It's Jennifer. Getting into prison's easy. Dog. Go to a convenience store. No, I'm joking. But escape from prison from from a prison? Now that's skill. That takes talent. Jennifer. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway. Fucking children, bro. Fuck, man! Why are we gatekeeping talents? What are we doing? Not talents. It's not really a talent, but like. That brings us to part three. So stupid. Getting the van keys. The I van keys. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so it'll probably be easier that way. That is part four. This plan is. Someone on the roof for eagle eye. Someone to pick lock. Someone to grab the keys. This plan is ambitious. Ambitious meaning. Yeah, I think, that, yeah, that one easily. Relax, chat, relax. It's impressive. It, clearly, it's fucking impressive. I'm the one that fucking thought of it. This is a very detailed plan. I'm I'm impressed. Oh no, yeah, for sure. It's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. Oh, so an actor? Need a fast runner. Oh, for this so one, we're trying to decide between. A, who was it again? Hot David, Hot Heather, David, Cynthia, and Scott. No, we need Hot David on this. Oh Jesus. Uh, yeah, definitely not Heather. She's on the fucking list for most likely to trip or running in a horror movie. Oh, and Heather's not even on the list. Not Scott, then. It's Hot David. Hot David's got Hot this David. shit. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you spend a lot of time running shirtless. Like, am I just a fucking third wheel? They already have all this information. You got this, Hot David. Oh, does he? <laughs> oh, does he? Damn, what the hell? Carrie and David sitting on a tree. K I S S I N G. We get the eyes on the roof. Fucking kids. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part the getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? 
Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. Which y'all are. So, Don't forget that. Let's use that against him. So we need Part an actor. Five, we trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Lisa or Tammy? Chat, I'll let y'all decide. Lisa or Tammy? I feel like Tammy got it, bro. Go back to the front. Tammy has the worst poker face. It needs to be Lisa. Yeah. She's on the list for having the worst poker face. So is she really worthy to win an Oscar? I don't think so. I, I'm just saying, I wouldn't vote for her. Ugh. Lisa. Yeah, Lisa it is. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. All right. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally. <laughs> it's all coming together. Then back to Gallows Creek alive. I didn't read a lick of what the fuck she just said. I was too busy. Being a good Samaritan. What did she just say? Something about Quebec a lot. Okay, hold on. A driver. Who's a good driver? Who we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia. Oh, Definitely whatever. not Scott. Forest, you know what to do. Uh, where is the go kart? Scott is the best at driving, but he's also most likely to crash. We have David, Chad. It needs to be Chad. Scott and Cynthia are, are both listed to crash a car. So it's Chad. Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go karting experience will be great. Oh, hell no. Nah. Boy, never say that shit again. Thanks, Forrest. Who, be, who says that? Who says, oh, your go karting experience, dude? Killer. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves. All right, lock it in. Goat. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. They don't need luck, Peggy. They got me. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. I know. Right? Impressive as hell, right? Damn straight. Hey, you sweet fucking bippy, Peggy. We should make some vigorous love. Like, sorry. There's a killer out tonight. Stay composed. Stay cool. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. Bro. All right. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Hell yeah. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Right on. Good luck. Good luck. Godspeed. And Godspeed. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter. Watch everything fail, man. Like everything. Ah! Uh, like, dude, that would be awful. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Okay. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter. <laughs> Bro, who's walking like Squidward over there? Hello? Did y'all hear that? I I fucking heard. Did someone fire? What was that? Someone trying to be sneaky? Oh hell no! Nah. Oh. Wait. Lock picker, go. I'll get the keys on. Watch, everything's gonna go fucking perfectly. <gasps> oh Jimmy. Oh, oh his, his face is. The keys. Fart on Harry, it. You need to get the oh, yeah. keys. Get the keys. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. He got God. Oh, God. She needs to focus. Focus. Breathe. Right. Right. <laughs> womp womp. Seriously. Fucking lock it in. Don't be the fucking anchor. What? No one sees a headless head nowadays? Jesus Christ. Got him! It's up! Jennifer got the gate unlocked! And 
hot David should be back any second. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's yeah. Working. I can't believe it's actually working. You're doing great. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. Which the All killer's right. gonna get out of. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Headless head. <laughs> Hide. And scene. Is it time for the Oscar? Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends. This is ridiculous. They have a fucking an escape route, a getaway. And now they're trying to be fucking the Scooby Doo cast and fucking lo like y'all not heroes, yo. On it. Ah. Oh, there he is. Ah. He's buying it. Oh, this killer's fucking stupid, bro. Ah! Oh, bro, she's edging. The fuck is that? Ah. There we go. More, more into it. More no. into it. Oscar, my ass. Oh my god. He went through the floor. You're fucking goaded. Spotter. You need to climb down now. Damn, we voice crack. Go. This shit got me amped up. Bro, I want to I want to be there. Heather. Quick, everyone to the van. Yes, Heather. Yes. All right. It's actually going smoothly. I mean, no duh. Fucking I or orchestrated this. Come on now. <laughs> All right. Huh? What? It won't stay open. I'll hold it. Here we go. I just had a talk. You drive through. Carrie's going to sacrifice herself. What was that? It's the whistling man. Drive! Now! Homeboy took a whole ass bookshelf. Backshot bookshelves. Fell through the floor. Mortal Kombat move, and he's just whistling like nothing happened. Oh my god. Please, no! No! Carrie? <sighs> at least it was quick. Just... Wait, what? He just stared at me. Huh? Carrie? Carrie? Just stared at me and walked into the woods. Oh, 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 oh. Damn! What'd you do, Carrie? Did you... Oh, she must have twisted his nipples or something. I don't know. I don't understand. Thank God you're Holy okay. Holy hell. Can you get somewhere safe? Why? I can make it home. You think she outmogged him? Like, she Thank locked in? for helping. I'm saying? If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie. And it was a great plan. It was all you. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. I mean, it wouldn't have been possible if I wasn't there, but you know, it really was all you. Carrie, you're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right, cool. Why? Why did oh, he not so kill her? A, that was a lot. A lot to handle. Some heavy shit. Thoughts go out to Jimmy's parents in this awful time truly for any kids listening in please stay inside and stay safe and parents hug your kids extra tight tonight not too Here's tight don't snuff them out you know what the saying? girl walking home in the dark late night lurkers because she's lurking and it's late night all teens except jimmy survived come on not so stupid teens. Hey, we had a call Not bad. In. Fuck Jimmy. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. On oh, my fault. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16. The, the Scream. scream.
What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. What's good? I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. Why, thank cool you. what you're doing, man. Just doing uh, what I can. I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. That's what's up, yo. I had a guy from Starlink Security here earlier installing the Starlink 4000 system. Whatever so that means. I'm Sounds amazing. Behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. Hell and yeah. I now consider you a friend, my man. Right on. Thanks, friend. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more Ricky, than just a job Ricky, do So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Swear. Yeah. Really? Back then, things were pretty rough. Oh. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went Rick down. Rick and Morty? I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. And sharing that burden just... Well, what do you want to say? Womp womp? No, like deadass? I am interested in the story. It took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but... I found Roller Disco. Damn. I fun again. And then and Roller shapes. Ricky was born. Now whenever I get down, I get down. Okay! I'm finally free. Down and dirty. Oh, it's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh, oh. Aw, hello, Max. Also. Also! I need you! Hey. I am saving this guy. He has a dog. I'm gonna reload as many times as it fucking takes to save this guy. I don't give a dick. I'm not gonna fail anyways. Lock it in. This one's this one's serious. He's a good boy. Well, he certainly sounds like a good Damn boy. Damn straight he does! Man, my emotional support. Hell dog. yeah, that's what I'm talking He's a about. Rescue dog. Yeah, it, I okay. The one that rescued me. Ah. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Man, best friend. Of course, first thing I did was teach him how to skate. Swear. Me now. What? Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said Where it shouldn't be done. Where any footage of this? And then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. <laughs> Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's That's even up. got that special how to greet them. You're a great pair. <laughs> it sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie two peas appreciates in a pod. all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, can I request a song for us? Of course. Something I can right go away. to. You know, something funky. What you want, my It'll man? It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. You got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Let's get the flow. What's that one? The hangups. Here comes one of my favorites. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. On God. Yeah, I get that. Damn, it's this game's wholesome, yo. My taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. On God, it is. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <sighs> You were thinking about Max on skates, right? I think you? we all were. Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. A dog that can fucking roller skate, dude. What the fuck? That's peak life. 
I want to see that when I go up into heaven. I suppose I should take this call. I suppose we should. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I'm so good at my this job, course, man. Damn. Yeah. How tonight, caller? How's it going? I'm doing okay. Hey, Carrie. Safe. Carrie! Hey, I I just wanted to thank you for doing what you it could. It was all you, man. Good stuff. You know, even though we lost Jimmy, and I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You did the best you could. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't... Why am I... Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? It's a very good After question. what he did... Why let me go? Maybe you were bad? I don't know, dude. He saw he's a victim. He wanted prank stars. He got bored. He saw he's a... No, he likes killing victims. He wanted the prank stars. He wanted... He wanted the pranksters. Wow, prank stars? What the fuck am I saying? He got bored? I don't know. Maybe he only wanted to hurt the pranksters. I... Maybe. Did he just think everyone was making fun of him? Did he always hate these hazing rituals? I, I mean, if he did, why wait all these years to... Why do this now? It's a good these question. stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Hey, Shit, here's hoping. Hey, Forrest. Uh, could I request a song? Sure. Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Um, yeah. Blast. Ah, they're right at the very front. Who would have thought? You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. What? Maybe they're related some sort there of way? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, there's never a reason. I don't think a reason At all. is a key part of their process. He's a lunatic. Well, it's something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Oh. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Oh, Jesus. Just pop my back. All this caring, fuck, man. What would this town do without me? Bro, I'll be a fucking bloodbath. Damn, this town? What's the fucking population? A thousand? This show's about to be 500 if I wasn't here. This is insane. All right. I'm a hero. Nice. You know what? Okay. Buckets. 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 Swish. Come on now. Nothing but fucking neck. Nothing but neck. Nothing but neck. Give me that neck. Here we go. From downtown. All right, I'm an overachiever. What can I say? I have a lot of power. Time to use only 1% of my power. Come on now, Canada, 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 Canada. Restart the counter, restart the counter. Canada, Canada, Canada. Right here and now, right here and now. All right, buckets. Yep, buckets. Yep. Oh, this is my sweet spot right here. This is the G spot for me. But buckets, buckets, buckets. Oh, as you can tell, I'm really in the mojo now. All right. Buckets. Was that in? Yeah, it was in. Let's go take a leak. How much is in there? Come on now. That seems accurate. <laughs> Jesus. That was tough. 
You're a girl? Did I just take a shit in the... Nah. Huh. Holy. Wash your hands? Oh, yeah. Oh, the water is running. Oh, there it is. Yikes. Chat, we only have 35 listeners, all right? We don't have running water here. Don't forget. Gotta make do with what we got. Here, I use this cup. There we go. All right, um, let's uh, let's get back to it, shall we? Let's get going, Peggy. All righty, we could run another segment or scratch that for us. We have a caller. I bet. Time to turn the music off. You're through to 189.16, the scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with Is the this done? Awful. Those poor kids. Still, I'm. I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks True. for your concern. Yeah. It's Are you in trouble? You. What's on your mind? What's going on? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it. Like, oh, we sadly. Your name was Dawn, right? Yeah. Peggy. Yes. Oh, well remembered. I remembered it first. My name is Dawn. I need my and affirmations. I wanted to ask you again to play my tune. Yeah, Peggy kind of chalked it. Uh, you know, she yeeted it out the window. Outside the window. How does she know that? Uh, maybe. Wait, were we on the air when she knew that? How does she know? I'll play a track for you, Don. But maybe pick another one. We don't I think exactly we're on there. How would she know that? Right now. No. Forest. You do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. Yeah. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I think I'd rather stay I'm inside really cozy sorry, with the Dawn, heat. But we just can't get it right now. And the safety. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? Then? Doesn't matter. It doesn't change the point. The station. It won't take you a second to grab it. He's fast. Don, I'm not he sure teleports. Heard, but there's something unnatural about this freak he's he's fast i'm not risking it oh but i think you will forest peggy i'm i'm calling with more than a request i'm gonna need 10 gifted you know what i'm saying 10 gifted i'll risk my life you're you're not really doing i i understand you love the song i don't give a diddly dick 10 gifted i know something i think i know who's gonna be next what are right. you serious play my song forest I'm next. Uh, a well, little. Folks, we have the Riddler. For you. We have the Riddler. Well, Epic, Things dude. Over. Uh, dude, so cool. No, fuck the fuck. Is she serious, song. Peggy? On God. She's serious about hearing that song. That's well, no, duh, sure. but like. Peggy, I mean, is she serious? But about the killer. I don't know, Forrest. But we don't really have a choice, do we? How does she know? She unless she is the, the killer. I don't want more people dying on my hands. I'm the 911 fucking operator at the moment. Ah, fuck! Why am I such a good person? All right. All right. I'll all right. All right. All right. All right. You're a good man, Forrest. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it. Uh. You know, I never thought about it, but yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. I see. Me and fucking Forrest are the same way. Why the fuck is it locked? Anyway, Hello? I'll hold the fort down while you're out. I... Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16. The Scream. With me, Peggy. There you go. You're a natural. Atta girl. Why is chat saying what? Chat, we literally saw this like five minutes ago. The fire exit. This is when I was like, what if there's a fire? Is that the one? No, down here. Yeah, this. Kill on the loose, I guess it makes sense, huh? Wait. Yo, this is... Yo. 
Ring any bells? Pack it up. I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. On God. Out here. All for the record. In the open. Alone. Alone. Completely alone. I hope no one comes up behind me and stabs me in the back with a knife. I. Oh no, I hope no one drops it in these and gives me. No, oh, shit. And gives me head. Where did we throw it out? What is that? A battery. Near window. So over here then, though. No? Oh man. I hope Cardi B doesn't start twerking out of a dumpster can. That would be a real shame. It would be a shame if a killer came over here to kill the vibe of Cardi B doing that for me. They should definitely wait, because she's definitely doing it right now. All right. <clears throat> Which window would she have thrown it out of? What does this do? Yo, what does this do? What did I just do? Did I just... I don't like that. What, chat. What, is, what does that do? Here it is. Long ride home. It's right there. No dub. But like, why is this a thing that I could do? Fuse? Oh, dude. You're fucking... You're a genius, man. You're truly a genius. I, I never... Really? Really? I thought it was like a flux capacitor from Back to the Future. Dog. No sh... I'll leave it here for later. Yo, it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. So I must have done something right, no? Of course. It locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. Why is Fantastic. there no... Where's the door handle? Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. Through the a, basement. A door, elevator, or something. Let's see. Is this a button? Nope, it's not. Can't go down here. This is fucked. Fright elevator only. What, down here? Wait, what's... And that's broken too. Only the best for KFAM. Did I just... Let's see if I can fix this. Looks like a power issue. Did I not just fix that? I should check the fuse box. I used my foresight. It should be. There we go. It's already in there. Yo, hello. I fixed it. Well, oh, Jimmy Cricket, what the hell's going on? Okay. I might have broke the game. I think I did this step way too early. Thirty-five listeners. I think I might have broken it. Yikes. I'm too woke for this game, man. I take everything to precaution. I can't. I would have to go all the way back. Oh, hell no. The autosave just saved. See? No way. Oh my god, it's so it's so hard being a smart motherfucker at times. Oh, I broke the fucking game. This sweet smell of science. Well. Oh. 
Oh, hell no. Okay, well, we have another another fuse. Multiple fuses just laying around. What? Maybe if I bring it closer, it'll open. Wow, I actually broke the game. You're gonna have to go all the way back. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, because the heat. Yeah, look at all these pieces are all over the place. But I fucking broke it. Oh, how far did I save back? I think I say before the call of the dog. Perfect. That's lame. Okay. Well, what can I do? No. Hey, you found. anything that'll help us I'm a genius what did I say I'm so fucking smart oh my god Too many crickets, man. All right, so that's not the proper fuse. Okay, we're back. We're back with the shits, man. I think blue, because blue is my favorite color. I did not want to go through all that again. This fuse is everywhere. Yeah, there's numbers. I don't think I have to replace all of them. If I was able to replace all of them, all of these will look interactive. Looks like I'm you gonna can. have to hunt around for some new fuses. Interesting. Hold on. They all look the same. They all look the same. Se okay, it needs to equal to 70. So that's 35. 15, this is 45. Let's keep that okay easy god what a walk in the park math i'll fucking i conquer math i make math my bitch all right okay lovely night ah uh, what a lovely night hopefully no one's gonna come probe me okay 30 is too much 20 should be enough what are you I think this should be it. What are you? Hello, what are you? Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, someone just take it. It's, it's fucking rain drainage, but it sounds like someone just took a shit. 15, 2015, blue 42. Okay, so the, okay, all the greens are fives. Okay, I see. I feel like Doc from fucking Back to the Future. 15, 15, 30, 30, 60. Is there one that's 10? We don't have a 10 one, do we? We don't. So then one of these, one of these 15s needs to go. 20. That's 50, 65, 70. Like, come on. Like, come on. Like, come on. Perfect fucking score. Go. What's his name, O? We're live. 
Woo! What a great victory. I hope no one comes out and stabs me after this great achievement. Hooray! I could probably survive that fall. Come on, Forrest. What are you, that weak? Jesus Christ. We should really... We're really leaving a fucking opening for the killer. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? Is Clive the killer? Yo. 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 Yo, what is all this? What is this? Leave the doors open. What are they locked behind me? What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. What if Peggy's in on it? No, no way. What's the keys for? Huh. There's a key. I'll Basement just take stairs. that. Might uh, be important. How is Forrest so calm about this? Dog, look, look what the fuck's going on. Well, hello? Damn, shoddy, what's good? Um, I have an answer. Fucking dork. Man, because a fucking nerd. Okay. That's, I guess that's it. Oh my god. I've seen Cobra Kai. I'm fucking crazy. I'm not like Murphy. I know actual moves. I'll put you in missionary. And I'll have my way with you. Fear me! Way to go, Forrest. Jesus Christ. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. If Peggy's dead, if my boo thing is is cooked, I'm 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 committing manslaughter. I'm killing everybody in my sight. Why are we like not? I hate our character. Log, bro. We just gave the killer a fucking way in. Dawn is in on it with Clive. It had that 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 has to be it. That ha, why are we not locking these things? Didn't you hate Peggy? It's a, it's an on and off relationship, okay? I hate her, but she's she's cool at times. We're so cooked. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Something well, you happen. put me on the mission. Clive the janitor might be Clive the, the murderer. murderer. What? Good title, huh? Start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked behind me. So. Yep. Wait, yeah, what the fuck? Did we all just stay on air? Why no, we did didn't. you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. Yep. All right, let's run through this again. Okay. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement. This is true. Made by our creepy janitor. Yes. Who you think is the creepy whistling man. Correct. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Correct. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target. That's right. Yep. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there too. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer. Yeah. Park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Okay, well, let's go back to the basement. Let's see what's next. Okay, where has he been tonight? He's been to the maze. He's been to the gal's waste disposal. Do we need to go back to the basement? I think we should. There's a whole map there. Maybe, maybe... Oh.
The boardroom is beside you? That's... Lol. Who would have thought? Okay, so he's going after these people. Car club, athletics club, improv club, car club. So there's two people. Two people in car club. Uh, one in improv, one in athletes. Ant Williams, Kim Walker. There's no carry on this. Class of 69. Did these people bully him? How do we know who will be where? From this stuff? Okay. <sighs> LA Noir. LA Noir. 2010. Young Droid, come back to me. Trailer for sale, cheap. I'm sick of being a local celebrity. People are being so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. Who cares? Buy a new one. I'm selling my trailer and leaving town ASAP. I just want to get out of here. Please buy it. Taylor, Tyler Wallace. Okay, this doesn't matter. Save the game? You're right. Oh, you're so right. What a fucking shout. Someone VIP that guy. Call for donations to help Chuck Brody. Here we go. Brody. 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 Former Gallows High football captain Chuck Brody suffered a career-ending injury as a victim of the festival disaster. Oh, this was last year. This is the guy that we heard. Tub on his road to recovery. We are buying him a lottery ticket. Hopefully, he gets lucky and can get back on his feet. Pun not intended. That was definitely the pun. You're a dickhead. Drop ticket to the bucket below. Thanks. So, he's in the hospital. Right? I think Chuck should be in the hospital, but that was last year. A whole year? Well, he broke his leg, eh? Yeah. Brody's not going to be walking for a while. He's hospital. Um, Chuck, hospital. This is useless. I need that. Uh, where's the trailer one? This is useless. Don't need that. Uh, Big Will breaks free. 15 injured. Who is to blame? Gallows Creek uh, Harvest Festival. So this is the one with Chuck, eh? Doesn't matter. Flu for thoughts. Local Dr. K. Walker. Isn't that one of ours? Kim Walker. Recommends all locals get their flu shot ASAP. Flu season is upon us. 84. It's no, it's no difference to any other year. Please make sure you are protected. Um, I guess hospital too. I mean, that's very vague though. Very, very vague. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait. Were these lined up next to the... Yo. Did I just move everything around? Was there an order to this? Swear. So Aunt Williams is Oh my lord. And here I thought I was cooking. And here I thought I was cooking. Lol running from the top. La Mao. Okay. Wow, that's a lot easier. So these are what we know with these people. These are what we don't know with these people. Damn, what the fuck? Yeah, yep, disaster. He's in the hospital. Yep, hospital right here. Yep, okay, I see. All these correlate with that. Staff search at power station. Gallows Creek Power Station hires 20 new staff and record hire. 12 of which were. Okay, so then. Who's this guy? Ants? Little dork? Dweeb? Is at the power station. Hey, very good job, actually. Good on him. All right, um, so then is Kim also at the, 
No, maybe she's at the gas station. What if she's trying to bring awareness at the gas station? Wait, no. I think Kim is part of the trailer people. Because they say people are treating her like a celebrity and she's an improv class. I'm sick of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. But why is there four options and four people? Why is there four, four locations and four people? Is Kim Hospital? Let's see, maybe. Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Con Convention. Uh, do you care about health and safety? Good. Then come down to the yearly convention. Get started in our, get started in a career. In yeah. Okay. She is hospital. Learn about health and safety in the workspace. Featuring special mystery guest, the lead engineer responsible for the Gallows Creek Harvest Festival design. <laughs> wow. They say you learn from mistakes while I turn mine into career. Jesus. I think she is hospital. So they're both hospital. They're both hospital. Twenty four rest. Inside informer walks free. Or at a small town. Improv club. Sick of being a local celebrity. If she was the improv club, she would love being a celebrity. Ah! Okay. Lock it in. The voices, the voices, the voices, the voices. Local legend takes to Manhattan. She stole our cars and then she stole our time and our money. Said an interviewer, Jim Randy, last year. Local legend. What if he's getting all this fame because of his injured leg? He's tired of being the center of attention because of his injury, so he's trying to move. So therefore, he's at the trailer park. Chuck Brody's at the park, at the trailer park. Kim is at the hospital. Right? Right? I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Gas station. 24 hour gas station bought by local ex lottery winner. Wait. Or is he at the gas station? They gave him they gave him lottery tickets. By ex lottery winner. Christine's gas repair has been sold to a man who won the lottery 14 years ago. The new owner's claims it will keep me busy on an evening. He has asked to remain anonymous. What the fuck? Failed to stop and crash into a fuel tank. The deceased have been identified as Gallows Creek locals. Mr. D. Rudd, Mr. Houghton, Mr. Stein, Mrs. Stein, and Please have asked to privacy. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Wack asking for help? I'm not a chump. I'm pretty confident about these two. But then, does he own a gas station? What does Rebecca Allen do? Car club. Ants? Wait, no. Power station. Wait. That's everything. But how does Rebecca own a gas station? Did she write this? I'm only confused about Chuck and Rebecca. Everything else makes sense. I want to see. He's leaving from the trailer park. So why would he be there? But why would she be there? Marriage announcements. We would like to celebrate the marriage of Kim Walker and Peter Stein on May 30th, 1970. Okay, is there anything about Peter Stein? Where's the where's the gas station? I asked to remain anonymous. 
Jesus Christ. You're stroking your shit. Hell yeah, man. Keep it up. Matthew's one says it's looking for his behavior multiple car thieves. It's a dope stop the case to be that we must work together. A collision meant if it's miss author diary of a car thief moves out. He stole she she stole our cars and then she stole our money. To the interviewer Jim Randy last year. She So then yeah, Rebecca. I think it's the other way around. He leaves from the trailer park. All the tickets they got him. He won the lottery, bought a gas station, and she was the one stealing from the trailer park. All their cars. He owns a power plant, obviously, with his career choice. Wait, no. No. Car club. I think this might be it, though. Yeah, no, this makes sense. This makes sense. This has to be it. Gas station, hospital, trailer park, power station. This has to be it. This has to be it. Chuck! Sales his trailer park. Tired of being a fucking local celebrity. Wins the money from all the lottery tickets that they got him. Buys a gas station. Kim, over here promoting all these things. Right? Yes, yep. So she works at the hospital. Rebecca is a car person. She stole the cars from the trailer park. And then the last one's power station. This has to be it. This has to be it. This has to be. It. I'm, I'm confident. How do I know I'm ready? How's it going? I think I'm good. I'm ready. Listen. I'm confident. A good 70% confident. Peggy? Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. Peggy, I'm ready as I'll ever be, okay? Let's do this! I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name Don't first. Don't question me. Who do you think the target is? Wait, 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 what? Aren't they all targets? Yo. Yo, 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 yo. What, 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 what do we... All of them. No? <laughs> Who would be the potential target for Clive? Maybe Rebecca. He hates people pranking him and messing with his town. She went around committing car thieves. She was a car theft. She, she kept stealing cars. He was injured. It wasn't his fault. She's trying to help everybody, and he's at a power station. I think Rebecca Allen. I don't know. I mean, I know who's at where, but what the fuck? How do we know what the next target is? The lead engineer is responsible for the Gallo Creeks. They say you learn from mistakes of why I turned mine into a career. Maybe he? Maybe Aunt Williams. Aunt Williams has ruined the festival. And he got a career out of power station from, from trying to fix it again. This is blame two engineers that were contracted in the local power station. Aunt Williams and junior engineer Sean Everett were distracted uh, talking about horror movies while assembling the big wheel, which led to various construction mistakes. Maybe the person wearing the mask has someone they cared about on the Ferris wheel, multiple casualties. He was related to that person. Now he wants revenge on Aunt Williams. I think it's Aunt Williams. I think it's Aunt Williams. Aunt Williams. And where will I find them? At the power station. The power station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. <sighs> All right. All right. Let's fucking lock it in. Let's fucking lock it in. I need this blanket right now.
My blanket of affirmations. My blanket of affirmations right here. We have warrior spirits. That's all I need to read. Warrior spirits. I need to wrap myself in this. I'm not fucking G. I'm a fucking goat. I'm confident by my fucking decision making. We're in there. We're in there. Moment. Forrest, I'm through to the power plant, but they say there isn't anyone by that name there. What? Then who? Ah! Jeez! It sounds like something blew up. Gas station! Do I reload? He's using bombs now? Oh my god. The call board. It. I. One moment. Forrest, I'm getting so many calls. Just let me. This is too I'm gonna hard. Take us off air I'm just for a, a moment. radio host. <sighs> nope. Hell no. Nope. Let's run it back from the top. Oh my god. Ah! What? Aunt Williams. Is he not the. Chuck? Why would Chuck. Why would he want to kill Chuck? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Chuck wasn't injured at the Ferris wheel. He was injured at a game. He caused the injury. But he's not at the power station. Aunt Williams doesn't work at the power station. Rebecca works at the hospital. I mean, Kim works at the hospital. That's a given. Easier prey then, but why? Why would he want to kill Chuck? I thought he wants to go out. I, I thought he has an actual motive. He let Carrie stay alive in for what? Kim has to be at the hospital. Is it really Chuck? He wins the lottery. He buys a guy. He gets injured. Wins lottery. Where's the gas station? Huh? And buys a gas station. Huh? Carried as something selfless to live? True. He was, if he's, listen, back in the day, you're a quarterback, you get all this praise, maybe he was bullied by Chuck. Droid is so slow. Oh my god, these motherfuckers. Oh, and you know it. Oh, and you know it. Oh, let me guess. You watched a certain YouTuber play this game. Droid's so slow. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I figured it out. Really? I want to know what everybody thinks. Maybe it's Chuck. Maybe he bullied him in high school. Oh, everybody's saying that they know it, but now as soon as I ask. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Everybody's chat. Everybody in the chat is fucking gassing themselves up saying, like, dude, you got it. Like, it's so easy. Like, and now I want to ask. Everybody, where would everybody go? Hey, where would everybody go? Where everybody go? Bro, I can't ask for Peggy for help anymore. I fucking, I saved past it. How is it, Chuck? I mean, it has to be because it gassed. There was a, there was an explosion. There was an explosion. That's what I'm going based off of. But that's spoilers.
He's asked to remain anonymous. It's not Rebecca. We really tried Rebecca. No, we didn't. Do you store cars? Is your car safe? Kim Walker is married. Ellis Creek Power Station hires 20 new staff. Over which were Gallo students. This is hard, dude. This is ridiculously hard. Uh, I'm gonna guess Chuck, man. Maybe he was like a, a jock in high school, bullied the guy. <sighs> Wait, you're right. Miss K. Stein, the thief. Wait, Kim is dead. She doesn't matter. She's dead. She got remarried, so she's gone. Wow, that took me so long to... Yep, makes sense. Peter Stein, he's dead as well. Yeah, Mr. Peter Stein and Miss K. Stein. Was there a reason behind this? Who caused this fucking tragedy? Into a fuel tanker. Failed to stop. So that doesn't matter. Informants. Someone cut the brakes? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Someone did cut the brakes. Bus failed to stop. I don't think the guy had a death wish. Gas station, trailer park. I think it's I think it's Chuck, yo. Did Chuck tinker with it? Who wrote this? Yeah, this is how we got Legionnaire Ant Williams and Junior Engineer Sean were distracted. Yeah, so we, so it has to be. See, this is how we got that Ant Williams worked at the fucking power station. Kim is dead. Rebecca? Is it Rebecca? This is why I thought he wanted him dead. Because people got injured at the Ferris wheel. Did she rats? She's a car thief. She knows how to work vehicles. She cut the fucking brakes for the bus. It ran, it blew up. She knows cars. Crimes to get impounded. Criminal operations shut down. 24 arrest from inside informant walks free. She got caught for doing the same thing and she's a rat. She killed people. She ratted out. Bro, she's the biggest goblin of the all. It has to be her. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. She's an informant. She ratted and she also got people killed. It has to be. 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 Trailer park. Oh Lord. Oh Rebecca Lord. Allen. And where will I find them? Uh, the trailer park. Uh, I'm dialing. One moment.
Forrest, I'm through to the trailer nope, park. Nope, it's not but... it. It's not it. They say there isn't anyone by that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Didn't she move? She moved out? I thought the fucking guy Dang moved it. out. I thought Chuck was the one that lived in a fucking trailer home and he moved out. No, she's the one that got all the fucking attention. I'm sick of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. That's right. She did fucking move. Oh, my days. No. No way. It's Chuck. What did Chuck do? Fucking Chuck? This guy has the biggest vendetta? You have the locations wrong? If she's not at the trailer park, then where is she at? Kim is clearly in the hospital. She's cooked. She's dead. That was her old job. Is she at the gas station? She bought it. She's asking to stay anonymous. She made a career out of her mistakes, made a book, got money to buy the gas station. She's not the lottery winner. 24. Bought by local ex lottery winner. Christine's gas and repair has been sold to a man who won the lottery 14 years ago. Miller claims it will keep him busy on the evening. He has asked to remain anonymous. It says he, though. She made a book from her life. Yeah, look, she the diary of a car thief. Police informer tell all tell all book. Now on sale. So this is her. All oh, this is her. She stole our cars. This is about her too. This is her as well. I think I don't know, man. This is this shit's so much. Are they working together? Chuck and her? No, no way. Maybe her and Chuck were a thing. He got injured. Can't make money. Lived at a trailer park. She started stealing cars to make money. Rats out everybody that was trying to help? I don't know. Get to call it, rats out everybody, makes a book, turns her life around. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think it's her in gas station. Maybe they're working together. They gotta be working together. He bought the gas station. They're together. She probably... She was probably working at the gas... Wait! The gas station has a repair shop. She knows how to work cars. He bought the gas station. Tragedy with bus. Bus fails to stop. The brakes were tinkered with. He owns it. She works there. Makes a book. She tinkers with the fucking bus. Bus crashes. It has to be those. It has to be. But she moved. She did move. So it is Chuck at the gas station. She moved from the trailer home. Where did she move to? To Manhattan. So, okay. Damn, I keep forgetting that. So it's Chuck and gas station. So it's Chuck and gas station. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? The gas station. Was... Okay, I'm dialing. Holy One moment. Fuck, this is ridiculous, bro. Oh, this guy's such a bitch, bro. Oh my gosh, shut up, pussy. Dude, how do you not know? Dude, how do you not know, man? I already seen so many people play this shit. How do you not know? It's clear as day. Shut the fuck up. Damn. 
Chuck Brody! Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Bro, just listen, dog. Oh, Hurry the man. fuck up. This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it and... Oh, God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... What'd you do to him? Today? It's today. What, what, what happened today? Today. The day of what? Uh, I think he ran off. Coward. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck... <laughs> Jeez! It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? I... I... Is Chuck? I don't know. Hang on. We're getting a call. Gross battled. Hello? Chuck? Chuck! Forrest! The whole goddamn gas station's gone up. At least they're gone. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. Oh, he didn't intentionally sabotage the fucking thing. She tried... I think Rebecca tried teaching him how to run a repair service. He tried doing it himself. He fucked up a bus and feels guilty for it. But the guy still wants to kill him. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Yeah. Damn it. That fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. Yikes. I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. I gotta go. Wait, What's... I... Damn it. We lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Okay. Let's blow this up! Careful with this next track, listeners. It's dynamite. Forrest! Yo, my fault. Jesus. Hold on, who was a part of the accident? Was Clive in this? No, he wasn't. Clive, C, 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 no. There's got to be more in the basement to show us who Clive is. Yes, I agree. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. We? By we, you, you mean, mean me, yeah, on God. Right? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these all right. calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. So, Wow. It was this guy from the very beginning. But at the same time, I wanted to understand the story. I wanted to understand how everything played into each other. And I did find that out. So I'm happy. <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ. Shut the fuck up. Everybody's on one tonight. Right. It's probably some guy banned. He probably came back to say that shit. What a little sissy bitch. Hey Amen. Have fun sitting in your dark ass room and do nothing with your life. Seriously. Chump. Alright. Hmm. The key. Was this always here? Oh, we picked it up last time. I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Yo. Who's more dumb, me or this fucking character? Epic. Oh. Th Epic. I guess I am. I did not see that. Was this your last time? Bro brother's here. Brother's here. Yo. Basement door over here. Okay. Hey, Forrest. Jesus. Hey, some warning before yelling down the intercom. Oh God, yo, Sorry. I hear you. I hear you. Hello. Call when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay. 
Yeah. Fuck. Radios. There's a battery on the shelf? That looks like the same shelf. What's in this room? Oh, hello. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. A map? Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Map? A map? A, a map of what? This map? No, he said the storage area. This is the map. All right, I guess. You just said a photo. George Ballow, 1968. That's when this all began for me. Follow the maps, find the tapes. I'll be waiting. Wait, George Barrow? Who's that? We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. Hmm. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. Will do. So everybody thought it was George that died and drowned? Did Clive use George as bait to fake his own death? Right. Can't pick anything up from over here. I guess we go back in the room. Or back in this room, maybe. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the map. That's what we're looking for. A tape and a book. Next door. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. Okay, and that puss. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death. George Barrow, down of dra da down of drown died of drowning, Jesus Christ. Deceased for five hours. Then something happens. Mm, this shit's tough, yo. Everybody's saying save. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. Oh, no. Nah. George Barrow died from drowning after drinking. That's the story. Deceased for five hours. Oh, no. Nah. Hold on. Put this down. We don't need you anymore. This is over here. There it is. Okay, put this down too. Another tape. Also, oh my fucking god, dude. You can't you can't just be making a fucking earthquake in my room. Oh wow, I thought somebody was fucking rushing into my room. That's crazy. Ridiculous, truly. Oh my god. Holy hell. All right. This looks useful. Autopsy report? What is this? Police department. Sheriff Matthews. He's the one that covered this. Compliance name Miss Sandra Sharp. Miss Sandra. Why does it sound familiar? Eight of six. At 4 a.m., a call is received from a jogger. Oh, the, the jazz girl. Right? The jazz woman. Miss Sandra Sharp reporting that a body had been found washed up in the reservoir. I drove up to investigate. Anybody that was related to George's death is a is wanted. Because he went for the jogger as well. George's death. Is it really George? 
Uh, I drove to investigate and was able to identify the body at the scene at the at the scene as that of George Barrow. I contacted the coroner's office and then the boy's parents. They informed me that they had not seen him since 7 p.m. on the second. Not cleared. Supervising Officer Jay Matthews. Yeah, what about the kid in the maze? Right? Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face. Typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet. As though the deceased had been running without stopping. He was running from somebody. He wasn't struck and drowned. When was this? What's our date today? Are we in the 60s currently? Maybe the whistling man was trying to kill George Barrow? Failed, he escapes, but doubt died drowning? We're in the 80s. Okay. It is September 3rd today. That is right. That is correct. Results shows no signs of inebriation. So he wasn't drunk. A high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. Okay. Yeah, so this is a cover up. Everybody was trying to cover up his death. For what? Why? This autopsy report says every just tells the whole story. Why? He was running from somebody from who? Was it the whistling man or the whistling man know the guy? And is killing everybody that tried clearing up or hiding this mistake or his death? Or is he trying to... I don't know. Where's the next one? Near a fan. I'm gonna stop trying to figure this out and just listen. Additionally, there appears to be a post mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Trapped in a car door? Was he in on the heist for the bus? No, no way. No, no way. Yeah, was he related with Rebecca in any sort of way? Was there a picture over here? No, there wasn't. No, there is. These guys caused the bus accident. They try to cover up his death? And the whistling man doesn't like any of it? I don't know. What's this? Button. This is so confusing. This is so confusing. And why does a person sound like Peggy? I'm so this sorry. Important. I made you do this, Virginia? Virginia. That's the girl we, we failed to save. And that's why she said, Clive, I didn't tell anybody about it. Yo. Yo. Hold on, let's read this. The deceased Caucasian male, age of 18, the cause of death is established to be drowning as shown by the signs of whatever. Aberrations was found on his knuckles, likely from getting into fights in the past. Matches with known history of the seas being aggressive. No other injuries were observed, and from the coroner's opinion, there is no evidence of foul play. Additionally, the primarily toxic. She tinkered it. She made it seem like he was a drunkie that liked to get a lot into a lot of fights and then drowned to death. 
Virginia was the autopsy girl. And she rigged it. But why? Why did Clive? If Clive is a whistling man, why did he kill her if she was helping him? What? Is Clive the killer? It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased, resulting in Yeah, maybe he thought she was riding into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Following that, he was moved. That sounds like Clive. Sounds like Clive. George Barrow. But did George Barrow know Rebecca? Chuck? Kim and everybody? Did he know everybody? This is all court. Ooh, a new vinyl from my collection. Nice. Last tape. If you're listening to this, then what? Dead. What? The? I'm a man who likes to stay informed. Saving. Sorry, ruining the immersion. I've got subscriptions to newspapers all over the country. Weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers. Explains the board. The other. Each headline about a murder. Each murder, the death of someone I knew. It's not Clive. Clive is not the killer. Almost 20 years ago. And he Clive was the guy at the beginning. Clive is already dead. We played as Clive at the beginning. They were trying to cover up a death that they caused? They tried covering up George Barrow's death. Someone related to George Barrow didn't like that? I don't know. Yo, there's so many possibilities! I knew it. They all have a reason to George Barrow's death. And the guy killing it, killing all these people that knew George Barrow thinks he was, they were in on his death. Deserve killing. All I hope now is that I can save some folk from the worst that I can. I don't know. Do something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. I didn't kill anyone, mind you. But that's past mattering. Poor Clive, yo. No. There's more I could say than I should say. But my employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out. So, hopefully I've said enough for you, listener, whoever the hell you are, to start putting the truth together. Oh my god. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. But why did Jimmy die? Why was he about to kill the kid at the maze? It still doesn't make sense. There's still so many stuff. It just doesn't make sense. I don't get it. I'm, I'm kind of sus of Peggy too. Peggy's been here for so long. There's no way she's not involved in some sort of way. It's a small town. Everybody knows each other. She's familiar with everybody's name. Jimmy was annoying, true. He probably was like, oh, what an irritating kid. Gah! If I was a killer, I would do the exact same thing. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but 
think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice. I'm, I knew it. It was Kim. No, Virginia was the... the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Yes. Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. She, I beg you. I don't know, dude. We never see her. We've never, like, seen this person. I don't know, dude. She's sounding too oblivious. Newspaper and everything. I found a written autopsy report. What does it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. Yep. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Wait, the caller She's dead. From earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurant, wasn't her name Virginia? Wow, the biggest fucking key factor we need is she's dead. <sighs> if only she had made it. Then we might have learned more about what's going on. It's okay. We did what we could. We lost the most the crucial person. Was a long shot as it was. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah. Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body. Maybe. That's kind I of a stretch, though. someone else must have moved him after he was dead. To You're closing your door eventually found. on a dead but body? What is going on here? Yeah, they should have added that to the report. The police report mentions a friend from earlier, Sandra Sharp. Sandra. The jazz runner. The jazz runner? That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah? What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. Yeah. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an Shit, His body should have sink to the but, bottom. Yeah, not important right now. Is he alive? Is George alive? They were doing a prank on George. No. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that. Yeah. I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. But Sandra is still alive? True. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? No. Maybe? Then there's this next bit, where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. So she agrees with us. Yeah. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. This is starting to make sense now. This, this is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. We know that. I, um, but how did he end I up like that? Found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the whistling man already got him? 
Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Dude, Clive literally Clive, just died this night. Dark? I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. Yep. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. Yep. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was checking out to save them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, and that put himself in danger. his employer threatened his family if yep. he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you'd killed all those people. Do you think you found everything? I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. Yep. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Uh, yep. Come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. So we saved pretty much everybody. Well, except for you know who. But 3 a.m. Yo, 3 a.m. Thank God you're back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Holy Peggy, hell! Working radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? And how are we supposed to figure out what's going on? Beats me. Beats me. But we gotta do it and we're going to. <sighs> You're right. So, what's the plan now? Fuck if I know. <sighs> Where do we start? Well, we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Yeah? Do you want to call her? I do. All right, but before we go asking questions, I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Yeah, we need to ask her about finding yeah, the body. Yeah, she found she it. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. A hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. I wonder what she's hiding. Right? We'll hopefully find out soon. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Uh. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. I'll be careful. All right. Calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. Uh, what if she's the one that brought the body there? She sucks at using cars. We know because we helped her work a car. What if she shut the door on his arm while she was trying to transport the body to the reservoir? I don't know. It's a possibility. Not too far of a stretch. Aha! Uh -huh. Forrest, you're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello again, Sandra! It's Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. <laughs> How jazzy. What can I do for you? Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. Heck, okay. You saved my life. She I seems easy going. About anything you asked. She's be straightforward. Why were you targeted? Or be a little like lenient, then make our way into being, you know, a good cop, bad cop. Let's say yeah. Let, let's smooth talk. Let's smooth talk here. Really? Well, that sounds nice. I might just call you Riz back the tomorrow, answers out. Oh, you got my number. Want to doubt, Riz it out. But what about tonight? Is there anything you want to talk about right now? Remember why we called, Forrest. Gotcha. Of course. Do you know why the whistling man might have targeted you? Ha! As far as I can tell, he was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. Right. He'd have chased after anybody. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific people. Yep. People who hey, know jealous, huh? about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. So quick. Right. You don't know anything about that. You found the body. It was in the report. Sandra, we know you found George's body. We have the police report. I... I don't know what you mean. It's okay. It's okay, Sandra. We know. You do? You know about? Uh, yes. 
It doesn't act like we know. This studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't lose my studio. Do you understand? Sure. Sure. I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet. And everything will be okay. We need to act like we know. The rent was low. She needs to act like she didn't see anything. So they paid her to be quiet. We can't say who was he. Maybe we say of course, and then maybe she'll say a name after that. Of course. We understand. I mean, it's not like I killed him. What was the harm in saying I found him in the reservoir instead of the river? Right? Right? I'm sorry. I can't do this. Yo, we and gathered gone. nothing from that. I don't that. think that could have gone any better. Really? You truly did great for it. I swear. I, was that the best? I don't know. Wait, in a river? Yeah, wait, he was found in a river. Well, folks, if anyone out there has Not any a reservoir on what's going on tonight, river. please call in. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just a second. At the whistling points. Not the reservoir, the river. Hey, Big Shot, hit the button yeah, and yeah. take the call. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Forrest. I know this is really out of the What's up, Ponty? Oh, my God, but pizza? I if you could send this special birthday message to my uncle. Uh... Now, really? And the homeboy says like drunk like, ah, 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 one nipple. You want to do that ah, now? Ah, 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 ah. Really? Why? Of course now. It's his birthday. I won't have a chance to do it again until next year. May as well, Forrest. Uh, fine. Let's get on What's with his it. name? Thank you, Forrest. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter, but he never likes it. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you would like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my God, damn it! Yes, tell him he can oh. get the best birthday deals and party packages here at Pony's Pizza. Start a good ah! Stop calling us. Damn Hang it, up. Peggy. This is your fault. My fault. I said I didn't want to do it. Don't blame me because Brian Ponty can't control himself. Uh, Don't worry. We've already got another call right, on the line. All right, let's go with it. Just pick it up, okay? Will do. This is 189.16, The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. <laughs> Who is this? Caller. She's laughing. Another prank caller. Run an ad, run an ad. Ponty. Ponty's pizza always delivers. Come rain or sleet or whistling man. Ridiculous! This motherfucker! Bro, how many times? No, nah, fam. No, nah, fam. Forest? I'm cool. Forest? I'm cool. Are you okay? I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool, truly, I'm cool. <sighs> Forrest? I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Jesus. Sorry, sorry, that was... That was too much. It's okay. It's been a high-stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent for now. We've got another call, whenever you're ready. I bet. Folks... Don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. Save your money, That's... truly. All I'm going to say about that. Mm, moving along. I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16, The Scream. 
with me, Forrest Nash. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. It's Don. Don. Ah. Uh, oh I yes. Know why you're calling. The record I'm player. Sorry, I didn't play your song. There's a lot going on, but please. I uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling because I need your help. Okay. Are you in danger? Are you in danger? Oh, I sure am. Does it sound like Do it? You mean? Yes, he's after me now. You? I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have seen the room. She did help us find Clive's office in a sense. Doesn't make sense, but it kind of does. I'm just gonna say right. Right. Okay. Tell us everything. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next after Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system has me locked out. I need you to help me get inside. Um. Why would you want to go in a place where go go elsewhere? Ask a neighbor. Can a neighbor let you in? Uh, I only moved in last week. I don't, I don't like know this girl. Yet. There's not even a buzzer here. Only the the keypad for the entry code. I need that code to get inside. And how am I Which gonna know it? What block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the New Woodside apartment building between Town Hall and the trailer park. But I doubt any of your Next to a train track. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. I didn't I didn't I didn't capture wait. Max. Next to the train. Not a dog person? Uh, I'm guessing you're not a dog person. No, I'm not. It's my neighbor's Dawn's dog. Dawn's the killer. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. This night can't get any. He's coming down the street. I don't think he's seen me yet. Forrest, please. I need your help. I need the code for that security system or I'm going to die. No, 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 no. Roller Ricky, no. She needs the code to go inside and get Ricky. Hi. What's the neighbor's name? What's your neighbor's name? I don't know my neighbors, remember? Please, I need to get in. I don't think we're supposed to help her. Get the neighbor's attention. Can you if you can get hear him. Neighbor's attention? That the whistling man will see me, Forrest. I can't do that. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000. There's a keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. Brother Ricky's. It's Ricky's. Starling, huh? Starling Security 4000, huh? That's right. Very newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets me. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Doc. Yeah, no, there's no whistling either. He always Thank whistles. You, Forrest. I knew I could count on you. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. Where's the whistle? He always whistles. All right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy. While I try to break Dawn into her apartment yeah break into her apartment what a joke seriously coming up for your listening pleasure it's caged yeah Tiger man whistling man not whistling single hello one last goodbye that's his whole like fucking slogan you were pretty quiet there peggy forest was it just me or was there something no it wasn't just yeah, you it wasn't just you something was weird about that yeah well, tell you what, we have a Starling 4000 or whatever here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, I'm not sure who. 
but to help someone. Clive has it too. <sighs> okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments, and somewhere, Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Woodside Apartments? What? Where is... She's completely lying to us. Clear as fuck. There's a train, dog, roller rickies. She needs to break through a security system to get into her own apartment? Yeah. There is no train. That's sketch as fuck. Right. Right. Oh, Dawn. Everything you're saying just doesn't. You wanted us to solve Clive's riddles. You wanted us to track everybody over the air so you can find out where everybody's at. And now you're locked out of your apartment. Right. Is this it? What are we looking for? A security system, but where? What the fuck? Where at though? I thought it said the office. Papers for it? Yeah, to shout. Maybe not in here, maybe his other room? Let's go check out his other room. Okay. Ricky, when I get you, Ricky. Ricky, when I get you, Ricky. Hold on. Yeah, I don't trust her at all. Seems kind of iffy. I don't know. I want this lady gone. Where? Where do we just find a security system in this goddamn? Where can a motherfucker find a Starlink 4000? Where is it? Yo, backseaters, let's come on. We're so close. I want to know. I want to know what the ending's like. Front desk? Oh, yeah. Maybe at the front of the fucking store? Lamau? Jesus, what am I doing? It's in the other room. Maybe it's in over here in the back. Or in there. Or in here. No. Here, 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 here. No, no, no. Maybe it's at the front desk. Back here. Order delivery form. Starling must have Fucking left this by Fucking genius. Accident. It's crazy. The system's not even installed at Woodside. Unable to install, require new parts. New installation date, 17th December. Of September. December? Jesus Christ. Bro, we, we she's completely lying. Lol, she's completely lying. There's no... A system's not even installed yet. Boy, hell no. We caught you red-handed. Fess up, coward. You're cooked. It's over. Only one casualty. First try, by the way. First try. Don't help her, guys. No shit. No, I was thinking about giving her the code to roll to Ricky's roller. Let her go inside and kill everybody there. Jesus. Seriously? I think Peggy's Dawn. Nah, no way. No way you have somebody doing all the killing for you. 
and then you're impersonating to be Dawn. I know Peggy's a baddie. Why would she Peggy 18? Why would she do that? George, George Barrow, Peggy Barrow. But she has a sister. She lost her family. She's the only one alive. Remember how she talked about her family? Multiple casualties. Multiple count. What if? What if some of her family was a part of that? I don't know. She never said her sister's name. She said that she lost both of her parents. No, her dad walked out. Or dad died. No, dad walked out. Her mom moved on with her life. Got remarried. But we didn't know the original dad's name. She even changed her last name. Sorry, uh, this is... We're doing too much right now. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Nothing by way of key codes. I see. Um... I mean, yeah, this is enough, no? Should we get more? Maybe sister. Maybe she is. Maybe Dawn is her sister. Yeah, she took her stepdad's last name after her mom remarried, after her father died. Then her stepfather died and she lost her mom too. Exactly. So maybe the original last name was Burrow. Their son died. Father left. Couldn't take it. Mom couldn't take it either. Remarried to somebody else, so her last name is different. And they have a sister too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. It's Peggy Stein. Snow White Stein. Nineteen seventy. No, because we're in the eighties. That wouldn't make sense. No way a 17-year-old is running this place. Girl, she's saying shit. All right. Uh, any ideas? Any ideas, Peggy? Dawn says she's stuck outside the Woodside Apartments with the whistling man nearby. She's locked out because of some new security system. Yeah, the Starling 4000. Yeah. Right. And we had the same security system delivered here. Clive was going to install it, so check the basement. I guess that's where Clive would have stuff like no that. No shit, dude. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Don't take too long. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Nothing by way Peggy, of Peggy, you're sketching me out, dog. I'm going to be honest. I'll go back and look again. Don't be too long. There's more. There's more. We're, we're missing more. There's more down there. Maybe she's related to George Barrow somehow. All the people that were involved with George Barlow's death played in some part. They try to cover it up. Peggy knows about it. Father moves away. Mom marries a new guy. Her last name is no longer Barrow. Burrow, whatever the fuck. And she wants revenge with her sister. Run. Uh, maybe Starling 4000 user manual. Ah, these codes should come in handy. I don't know. And maybe Clive couldn't tell that Peggy was in on it because she was always here working. So that's why he was never sus of her. Abogas. Her last name used to be Campbell. Okay. 
Maybe she was in love with George? Or maybe she's pissed off that they're trying to cover his death? Who knows? Truly. There's a lot of what ifs, a lot of theories. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? The Starling 4000 security manual. It's got a bunch of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? I saw a list of everyone else who bought the Starlink 4000. Know who was on there? Oh my god. Roller Ricky! I... <clears throat> do you think we should give him a call? Is that crazy? I don't know what you'd say, but... I think we should give him a call. We definitely should. The gas station's on here. Roller Rinky's on here. And then our radio station. Employee Jamie Mocker. Didn't we see another J Mocker sign somewhere else too? On the autopsy report? Yeah, cause what? Hold on. She's she's not at Roller Ricky's place. She is. What? What do you mean she's not? We heard Max the dog. But if we call him, I don't know, dude. Donald here. She's always listening to the radio. She's been using us for information this whole time. If we call him, I think Max is outside. She will know something's up and try to act quick. I don't think we should call him. I don't think we should call him. Just put me through to Don. I'll take care of this one way or another. Okay, if you say so. It's over. I forgot to save. When you're Shit. ready, shut the music off. Yikes. Line one, whenever you're ready. Don, are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. What's the code? I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give her the wrong code. What the fuck? Give entry code? No. What is? What? Is, what do you mean entry code? Oh, entry code means entry code to every sys. Every system. We shouldn't do that. Warning this will set off all the security measures. Alarm test deactivation. We don't want to deactivate it. Maintenance call? Maintenance call will take too long. It might even bring Ricky out and then he might get killed. Alarm. I think we should do alarm test. Alarm test will scare Ricky. Maybe even Max. Maintenance, Ricky would come out. Deactivate, no. That will let her in and kill him. It has to be alarm. The code is one nine one five. I'm gonna look at Peggy and see how she reacts. Thank you, Forrest. Right, you're welcome. I know it's you. Son of a bitch. Ah! Lola. <laughs> Ricky should be is out. She? Break it in, and for what? Yeah, stay out. Nobody disrespects. Oh, Ricky got that blinky. Ricky got that blinky. Come on. What's up, Russell? Oh my days. Let's go, Ricky. Oh my God. Thanks, team of the ring. Don't ever come.
come back here again. Oh. I'm calling the cops. Yep, Max. <laughs> Thank God. Let them know. Hello? Is someone there? Ricky, get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him. That was the whistling man. I knew it. The alarm gave me just enough time I knew to get it. my rifle. Oh, my days. I don't like hurting folk, but I can't let anything happen to Maxie. He's my best friend, you know? Damn straight. I... Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. Gonna barricade that window. You have a gun. You're chilling. Thank you. Of course. You know, Peggy can skate for free whenever you want. Forever. I'm That's there. A done deal. I. Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. You got it. Talk to you soon. Okay. Why is she not more happy about that? Gallows Creek. Here's some music while we process what just happened. She's confused. I don't know. Bro, I feel like half of the chat's in with the killer. I feel like half of my chat is rooting for the killer. Kind of weird. So, the whistling man is a woman? Yes. I had my suspicions. Yeah, I worked it out a while ago. Yeah, I worked it out a while ago. Yeah, sure, Forrest. You just never mentioned it. Yeah. She called up. I'm sus you of you, too. You spoke to her multiple times. I thought she was just a regular Gallows Creek Strange. I knew she wasn't right. No, she, she's, yeah, exactly. She just it didn't seem right. Hello? Call it gut instinct. What can I say? I knew she wasn't right. Is that right, Sherlock? No. Nah. Why do you think she requested that song? Very good question. To get me outside to mess with us? Maybe she actually wanted it. To get me outside. To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. Because you planted it out there to make me go outside. To un to discover what Clive did. To figure out by myself and to talk about it on the air. And to, and for her to get all the information. No. There's no way. There's no way Peggy's part of it. I don't want to believe that shit, yo. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have yo, new info. Yo, yo, okay, yo. Okay, you're live yo. in three, two. Hey, folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope. Yo, did she just give me the finger? Yo. Hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman. One who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. Our neighbors look out for each other and stay safe. I'm sad to say this, but it's time to trust no one. This is a risk. This is a, that's a tough thing. To, that's a heavy thing to say. I load. No, I meant to save. It's okay. We have auto save. We have auto save. We have auto save. Oh my days. Oh my days. Holy fuck! Forest. Oh my god. That's okay. It's okay, it's okay. We'll relist, we'll relist, I don't care. Holy hell. Son of a bitch. Ha! Ah! I don't mind rehearing this, I ain't gonna lie. Is she? Hell yeah. Don't ever come back here again. I'm calling the cops. Thank God. Hello? Is someone there? Ricky, get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him. That was the whistling man. The alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. I don't like hurting folk, but I can't let anything happen to Maxie. He's my best friend, you know? I... Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. Gonna barricade that window. My man, thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want, forever. That's a done deal. I... 
Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. Got it. Talk to you soon. Okay, Gallows Creek. Hear some music while we process what just happened. Is Kim the mom? Is Kim the mom? Marriage announced. We would like to celebrate the marriage of Kim Walker and Peter Stein. Change your last name. I don't think so. That wouldn't make sense. No, that wouldn't make sense. Forest? No, uh, the chat's putting ideas in my head. I don't think so. So the whistling man is a woman? Oh, my days. Yeah, I worked it out a while ago. Yeah, sure, Forrest. We'll you figure it all out in the end, okay? Everybody she stay cool! Up. You spoke to her multiple times. You're frying my brain! I knew she wasn't right. Is that... Peggy is... Hold on. Save, let me say this real quick. Why do you think she requested that song? Uh, to get me outside. To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Let's, let's just go with the flow. Okay, you're live in three, two... Hey folks, this is Forrest oh, Nash here. I up. hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman, one who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. I think trusting no one is better than trusting a neighbor. She made it seem like she was neighbors with somebody. I, th I think we should trust no one. It's, it's, it's already saved. It's already saved. I think trust no one's the best option. Trust yourself. Go inside. I'll do another save though, just in case. I'm sad to say, but it's time to trust no one. The killer was calling themselves Don. This could be a fake name. Obviously, don't trust anyone called Don. We just said the killer is Don. This could be a fake name. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's huh. 911. Hell yeah. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. Okay. All right. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. Let's see. You're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, man. Murphy? What's up, Murphy? Hey, I'm straight. Hell What's yeah. Going on, Murphy? You in danger again? No, nah, man. I've just been listening to the show here at home. And With your son, huh? Asked folks to call in if they could help out. Well, I'll right call. on. Thank you, Murphy. I don't know if I can say as much as other folks have, but uh, I figure I wouldn't be a good role model to Fernando. If I didn't try to help, you know? It's good on you. You're a good father. You're a good father, Murphy. Absolutely. Fernando's a lucky kid. Oh, thanks. So, uh, what do you want to know? Well, what can you tell I got us? It. Uh, I don't know, really. All right. Well, do you know anything about the death of George Barrow? Absolutely nothing. Whoa, okay. Murphy! What about the killer herself? Herself? <laughs> Man, I, I didn't get my ass kicked by a lady. Hey, to break well, it to I you. Went toe to toe, it was a man, man. You heard the last call, right, Murphy? Yep. So you know it's a woman, and you were trained by a VHS, Murphy. I, I know, but man, how could it have been a woman under that mask? Two killers. Let's just move on. Do you know anything about the history of the Whistling Man? Two killers. No, sir. Tonight's the first time I ever heard of him. What? I moved here three years ago, man. What do you so then why was he trying to kill Murphy? Murphy wasn't a part of any of the incidents. Why was Murphy trying to be killed? Me. 
There's gotta be two killers. Maybe they want to mix in some killers. Maybe maybe they want to mix in some murders with innocent people so we won't catch on to the story of that's actually being untold. Maybe they're trying to sprinkle in some innocent people so we won't catch on to the whole George Burrow thing. No worries. Hey, man. No worries. Just thank you for trying. Yeah, throw people off the trail. Right. Sorry I couldn't help you all more, man. Now. You to ask me about Gator. Thanks, Murphy. Forrest, we have a call coming in. Sorry, Murphy. Next time. I think that's all we've got time Tend for. Tend to right your now. son. Happy birthday oh, once all again. Right, all right. I'll catch y'all with the Gator talk later. Not <laughs> well, folks, Alligator. That was a bust. But perhaps our You wanna see a bust? Oh shut No, relax, everybody come down. Next caller has more they can tell. Lock it in. I can't I can't get thrown off my mojo. I'm like in a fucking detective flow state right now. Let's find out. Okay. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Please help me. My name is Casey Moore. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. He's 25 Nancy Drive. 25. Nancy. He's bleeding every. Nancy Drive. Nancy Drive. Nancy Drive. Nancy Drive. Nancy Drive. Nancy Drive. King Avenue, Bond Street. There. Nancy Drive. Please help me. Um. 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 What happened? Somebody's been stabbed. Can, can you tell me what happened? Right, let me save. You're so right. All my days. We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place when we heard this whistling all of a sudden. He just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that. And I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh, no. Forrest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. It sounded like he might have known the person, and they just stabbed him. So he knew about it. He was in on it. He tried covering up to Was he helping the killer, but he fucked up? He fumbled? Near the reservoir. This seems like a fake. George's body was not found at the reservoir. That's what they're saying. His body was actually found in a river over here at Whistling Point. This seems like a fake call. I don't know. Interesting. We can ask, was it a woman? Let's not say the Whistling Man. Was it a woman? Maybe, maybe he's part of covering up. Casey, was he talking to a woman? I don't know. They had a mask and wore all black. Okay. That's all I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know. Where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. The garage? What garage? Yeah. Why didn't she make sure he was dead? I don't know. I think I heard them say something like, it's not so funny now, is it? Before they left, but please. How can you not tell if it was? Uh... He needs to get to the hospital. I can't drive, so we need an ambulance. There's no more ambulances. Forrest, the ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. We need to know what his name is. What's your friend's name, Casey? It's Jason. Jason Parker. Who is Jason Parker? Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach. And then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground. And it's... Oh, the knife is still there in his leg. We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. <clears throat> we have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Listen, you're going to have to get him here. 
We need to see him and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him. I don't like this. I don't like this. This all seems like a ploy to get me out there. Right now. Damn, it's blowing up. Me going out there. The victim being stabbed. The person failing to kill everybody because of me. Stabs a random person to get me out there. The people that were stabbed were actually innocent. They're actually uh, civilians. But I think the person on the phone right now might be Dawn. Or Kim. Is Kim Dawn? She works at the... Did Kim fake her death? And even if we did, he's bleeding. out fast all right listen we need to buy him time to get here that means stopping the blood first and then finding someone to stabilize him to stabilize him you really need someone with first aid training do either of you have any no no nope. neither uh damn it i'm really sorry about this but i have other patients who can't wait all i can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as i can and then leave the rest to you you think you can handle that I doubt it's Dawn because this is on East Side. She was just at West with Ricky. No, this is on East Side. She said that she got stabbed at the reservoir. Or he got stabbed at the reservoir. Ricky's right there. Maybe as she was fleeing. She decided to make a quick pit stop. Stab the guy and then they booked it to the Nancy Drive. Why? Why stab that guy? Are they related or was it just drag me out there? This has to be to drag me out there. But then she told the guy not so funny now, is it? Jason Parker. Jason Parker. Is Jason Parker part of this? No. So Don does know George. Maybe they were pranking George. Maybe they were bullying George. And he actually died. They found it funny. Hmm. All right, Jesus Christ. We have much choice. We don't really have much choice. Hit me. Okay, from the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Sit them up. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slowed. Got it. She, she forgot think. a step. Oh, no. Get them comfortable. Yeah. Apply pressure. When his bleeding slows down, get cloth and apply more pressure to it. You said he was stabbed, right? If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, don't take so his it leg. out. Don't take, it. don't take the knife out it's of his leg. stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. Yep, that's coming. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. God, Jesus, Peggy, you're info. a fucking anchor. But I think we can handle this. Glad you got it so far because there's more to go. Huh? Yo. Okay, lock it in. Okay. Keep going. We have to. It's. Comfortable, apply pressure. When bleeding slows down, get cloth, apply more pressure. Leave knife and wound. That is pretty common knowledge. Let's keep going. I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. If he does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. Okay. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Move blood from the legs into his organs pick up his legs if they're still bleeding through the cloth apply more cloth if he's still bleeding lift legs try to keep him warm get keep him, him warm. to rest and reassure him we need the patient to stay calm <sighs> all right uh, okay. don't replace bandages elevate his legs keep him warm and calm this is a lot i'm really sorry i got it that's as much as i can give you right now Try to stop the bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. This guy. We need we need him to stay alive. We need Jason Parker. Because once we pick him up, we have questions to ask. She expects him to die. 
Hold on. All right, Forrest. Casey's still on line one. Hello? Hello? Forrest, are you there? <sighs> How is Jason? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. Okay. I need help. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. That's but good. he's still bleeding. I don't know what to do. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his leg? Leave it in there. It's gotta be hell. Should I No. Don't touch the no, knife. Don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making sense. Pull yourself together! Stay with me, Casey! No. I I have a fucking PhD! To my it's right there. It's right there. Melissa, good luck. Don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Someone tells me that you jar your spit and trade it for toenails. This is true. Someone banned that guy. Jason threw this. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. Okay, sit him up. We need to secure the knife. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. Perfect. Some laundry piled up on Keep top it of the firmly in there. If bro well, is passed out, hard, even better. Yeah. Grab all of that. Wait. We need to clean your rags for the wound. Jacket to keep him warm. We need to use the laundry. Bingo. Look in the laundry for something like a towel or a shirt. Hold that over the wound. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to buy you some new whites, Jason. Here we His go. tiny whiteies. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Stay Jason. with us. Forrest, can I have a word? Now? Now isn't the best time, Peggy. Can it wait? Forrest, it's kind of important. All right. Give me a second. She's stalling. She's stalling. She wants him to die. Why? In the middle of a fucking procedure. Who does that? During a heart procedure, during during heart surgery, bullet in the heart. We're, we're about to lose him. Two seconds till death. Can I have a word? Shut the hell up and give me the fucking pliers or whatever medical tool I need. Who is she? She's an op. She's an op. Oh my God. Casey, I'm going to have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything and we'll be there. What is this? I promise. Those rags will be dirty from the car, bruh, bruh. And chat calls me dumb and slow. Do you read? It said in bold font, clean rags. Why the hell would I use laundry? Laundry doesn't mean that it's already clean. Laundry means, oh, there's laundry there. Put it in the fucking washer and dryer. Why the hell? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. What's going on? Peggy, speak to Oh. What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? <sighs> You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. Oh, brother. She'll have to drive him. Could anybody, could somebody nearby help? No, I think she wants more people to go over there to get them killed. I think if she could just treat him, that she could just drive her, drive him herself. No, why do we get more people? I mean, more people would help though. Hold the pressure while being driven to the hospital. But what are the killers waiting nearby? She can't drive? She says she can't drive? Oh my god. Okay. Holy fuck. Y'all are genius. Could somebody nearby help them? Maybe drive them to the How hospital? How did I forget that? You know, that's exactly what I was wondering. Do you have anybody in mind? 
I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. You skipped it, didn't you? I, never mind. So, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah, why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems. Problems on problems on problems on problems. Brother, what is going on? With that. Naturally. Naturally. It's sensitive information. So Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. So then this. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Right. Maybe there 1034. Is something else. I'm not going to like this, am I? Have you ever heard, the future is floppy? Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that oh, have I information we're in the 80s. on them. You put them in a computer and they do something. Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. Jesus. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. That is good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. Yeah, dude, yeah, he's around. definitely okay. I'll Jesus just slide Christ. it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. <sighs> I just have to look around. Always sliding under. So weird. There. I'll patch my mic down to the office so you'll hear me over the intercom. That is so weird to me. It's always been weird to me. Is this the office? Locked tight. I'll show you tight. Where would his office be? Maybe back over here? No. This game is so good, bro. It's actually insane. We've never seen Peggy. It's a lounge. Private. There we go. Looks like I need a four digit code. Very important dates. Very important date. 1987. First date to the injured. Keller. Scott, so Scott's our guy. This certificate to is to certify that Scott has successfully completed the standard course, first aid to the injured. Scott's easily our guy then, no? 1987. The bite of 87? Remember Reggie's Junior's birthday. 09, not 1009. Last year was a disaster. So, 0910. Nope, that's not working. Must be something else. What? <laughs> no way he got it wrong. No. So it's not his son's birthday. That's crazy. No way it's this guy getting a certificate of being a first aid. A very important date. His, uh, clearly his son's not that important. Axe forever. Need to write pitch documents. Good title. Bring back original protag and villain. Wow.
Clive, you're reading this. Stop stealing my post notes. May There's no way it's 87. 1987. As Genie, where those tapes are, it's been weeks now. Genie knew about it. The recept. The intern knew about the tapes? Carrie's best friend? Helped with the tapes? A floppy disk. Could this be it? Pizza delivery killer who kills with a pizza cutter. Free slice on meme. Terrify terrifyingly, there is never any pizza. What happened to the original delivery guy? Maybe write him in the final girl's boyfriend. Protagonist is the college student Megan. She's smart, beautiful, resourceful, and lactose intolerant. And before, what the fuck am I reading? Takes place in 1107. I think that's it. Is this FNAF lore? Was bro like low key writing a, a story on the side? No way. No way. He nice. Your kid's birthday. Maybe he used that as bait. Okay. Me. I want to know. Get a load of this, Peggy. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf type. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me at all. Whatever. What are you doing? We don't have time for this. Well, hold on. Lord! Oh, now, now you're on about this. You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. Uh -huh. we'll the rest of this later. Re Reggie really likes us. Us being hired. I can't believe we actually got the Forrest Nash here in Gallows Creek. His motivation may be low. His demands are a bit beyond our means. And he's currently blacklisted from any reputable, reputable station. But honestly, we don't have the reputation to lose. For the show, they seem to be they seem to have developed a relationship of sorts pretty quickly, which is good because we don't have the show budget to pair him with Karen. Alright. What about Peggy? Weaver Peggy. Weaver. Hey, Peggy, I think Reggie's on to you and Karen. Maybe don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a while. What? Why are you reading my file? You need to find someone who can help Casey. We already know I can. Don't waste time. You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. Hmm. Date of birth, 1959, Peggy Weaver. Interesting. I don't know. Seems too clean. Carter Bradley? Who's that? I forgot. Yo, 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 yo. I'm taking a piss. Hell no. Nope. Hell no. Scott, man! We 
ridiculous. That was terrifying. Someone's outside. As soon as we put him. Oh, he's a food critic. Oh, Bradley. He's the one that got along with Barbara, the receptionist. Hedges, John, Lawson, Karen. There's an intern. Barbara. That's a receptionist. Hedges, John. We don't have. We don't have Scots. No Clive either. If you want to read, go for it. I'm not reading aloud. Unless it's something I really want to have the people know. Okay, this is very boring. Scott is Reggie. Oh, lol. I forgot. Karen, the intern. She knew about this. She got the tapes. She has fully taken on Hamish show alongside. Karen has started mentoring Peggy. I think this will be really good for Peggy. They're even doing team building, training getaways to improve efficiency. I'm sorry to suspect that these producer training getaways are being strate strategically timed. But now both miss Secret Santa. First aid training and Teddy Gallo's junior station visits. Is Karen done? And that's why Karen has to be done. She couldn't bring herself to kill her own best friend, Carrie. That's why she let her go. Peggy and Karen both have been skipping on all these important things because they were plotting. Karen isn't the intern. She is. What? Karen is the intern and her friend. Wait, she's not? Karen isn't the intern. Who's genius? But I thought I was onto something. Damn it! Okay. John refused to engage with the first aid trainer during the course. I know he's a war medic. Oh, this guy's the fucking... He's the guy then. He's the guy. I had a bunch of medical equipment in his home that he pro he procured the military at the, at the end of his service. Is that legal? Do I need to report him? Spoke to John again about eating the free samples. Gugu Gaga. It's John. John's our guy. Ain't there a fucking... Hey, Peggy. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? Then who is... Ki Barbara's a receptionist. Bradley is the food critic. Who's Karen? Karen and Peggy are on it. Maybe Karen is Dawn. Peggy knows Jeannie. Jeannie knows Carrie. Maybe that's why they didn't want to kill her. Because they were related in some sort of way. Uh, okay. I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. Alright, good work. Who should I... Is this a new producer? Casey, gotcha. I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. Save. Trying to get him to rest, but he just threw up everywhere. What's happening? What do I do? Wait, wait, what? He's probably going to shock. 
He's going to shock. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. But the blazes seem to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, I'm sorry. No, that means there's not, Casey, not enough blood. Calm down. Not We've enough blood's going through the organs. Right. I, we have to lift his legs. I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Elevate Jason's legs. Casey, I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Got it. She's putting him in missionary! Okay. I propped his legs up on some boxes. I'm looking at my notes. We need to get Jason as warm True. and comfortable as possible. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? The jacket. She yeah. had a jacket. I still have some laundry next to me. I'll wrap him in some blankets. That works too. Just give me a second. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Jason's bleeding through his bandages. Sh should I get him new ones? Or... Yes. Oh, Put some more. Apply an additional bandage. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. Do you still have something you can use? I've used the rest of the laundry to keep him warm, so I'll use my jacket. I can always get a new one. Okay. I'll fix his bandage and get That's him better. Warm. Jacket's pretty thick. Sorry, sorry. I'm done. You're gonna be okay, Jason. Just relax now, okay? Sorry. Scared. You're doing good, Casey. Relax. Well. Is he? Is he gonna? No. You're gonna be fine. You want to say that? Jason is going to be fine. I know, right? So what happens to the clean rags? Hello? Where's like clean rags? What happened? Hello? Sure, use a jacket. Whatever. Just make sure he knows he's going to be okay. Okay? Okay. But please, I, I can't give him what he needs. The rags are not dirty. The rags are not dirty. Him. Yes. All right, Forrest, we need to hurry. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. You said you knew who to call earlier. Who was it? Oh, fuck. Fuck. John Hedge. We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's Perfect. probably the most trained person we have. Really? I never really spoke to him before. Oh, war oh they were cleaning rags. Oh, what the? Anyways. Uh -huh. Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, stupid. John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. There's something. Perfect. All right. Uh, five, four, two, zero, seven, three, five. Calling now. Let's hope he Who the hell is this calling you? Damn. What time is it? John, it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Chill. Be a note like everybody else. No. This is, someone's been stabbed. There we go. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or never mind. He's lost a lot of blood and he's passed out. We need you to help him. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is gonna die if we don't help him right now. Seriously? Huh? Yes. Lock it in! Been called on for over 10 years. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Damned if he dies on my watch. Thank you, John. Oh yeah, John. I don't know you're on your way. Good luck. Hello, Casey. Are you there? How are we doing? What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out. Please tell me you found someone to help. Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. You hear that, Jason? Someone is coming. Holy hell. You're going to be just fine. Just hold on for me, okay? Just hold on. Come on. Hello, Casey. This is John Hedges. I'm here about Jason. 
Well, damn. What did bro pull up in? He throws some ender pearls? How, like, I understand he's on the same row, but Jesus. No. Casey, I'm gonna need your help. Forrest, Peggy, don't you two worry. We got this from here. Okay. Forrest, we'll call you back later. I have to go now. Good luck, everyone. God, I hope he's gonna be all right. <sighs> Whew. And with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. All right. Holy hell. Well, after all that excitement. I think we could use some music. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. Know what I'm saying? It's an honor. Holy hell. This game is too stressful. Uh, oh, that scared the... I put that there. Jesus Christ, I forgot. That scared the fuck out of me. Go back there, silly guy. Shout out to John. Thank you, John. Krayos Gaming. Didn't know he was a war vet. Big ups. I know, right? What happened to the bang on the window? Whatever. We're back. You'll like this next song. It's getting pretty late. No. This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. We're Give almost me a done. Buzz when you want to go back on air. We're almost done. Oh. Jesus Christ, I'm tired. I need some coffee. No, I need some G subs. Could we join a checkout? What the hell are we saying? Come on now. My God. All right. Let's do it. They always save, huh? Holy hell, man. Ridiculous. Actually, redonkulous. Oof. All right. Epic. Epic. This game's so good, man. I can't. I can't. Let's begin. roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Right away. Welcome back to 189.16. The Scream. I believe we have another caller on the line. How are you tonight, caller? Morris, it's me. Hey! Oh, hey, Maxie's here too. Oh yeah. Good to hear from you. Good to hear from you again. How are you both doing? Oh, we're good, man. Thanks to you. You're like our guardian angel. That wouldn't be a bad look for you, Forrest. Right? A little white wing halo number. What can I Maybe say? Maybe something for the K Fam Halloween party. All right, everyone. Let's calm down. Ricky, I'm just glad we could help you and Maxie. Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might help you. For real? Really? Oh? What's that? You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. Okay. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Chuck. Me. All right, and what is he was part of the football runner Ricky? There's the motive. What does that have to do with tonight? Well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team too. Tell me about him. Tell me about him. What was George like? I didn't know him for long, man. Sad to say, we had our first team party on the night he drowned. He seemed like such a good dude. And the killer? Don tried to kill him when he barely even knew the guy? Crazy Ricky, motives. Were you there when George drowned? No, man. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl there. His girl. I knew it. Don is his girlfriend. Lot of love, man. I can see it, you know. Enough to kill. Do I just outright say it, Dawn? I'm gonna say, tell me about her. 
Ricky, listen, this is very important. I need to know everything about her. I didn't really know her before, or see her after that. I never even got her name, man. Well. I just remember he called her Bean. Then what did she look like? Please, tell us anything you remember. I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Ricky, you said the party didn't last long. What happened? We were just having a good time, and then the next thing I knew, everyone was running for their life. What? I looked up and saw a goddamn whistling man in the trees. And I never ran so fast in my life. I ran straight home. Didn't know about George until next morning at school. I'm guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? It was all a prank. This is all a prank. But George got so scared when he was running through the forest, he scraped himself up? And then once he died, once they tried to... These weren't like... You know, your common killer. So when they try putting him away, they close the door on his arm. I think that's what it is. I think this is a whole prank. Somebody was pranking him. That's why she stabbed Jason. Because what if Jason was the guy in the mask? Pranking. That the whistling man. And that's why she's saying it's a prank that's gone to. Yeah, prank gone wrong. And now. She's just getting revenge. He was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but uh, I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. And it wasn't your fault, man. Ricky, it wasn't your fault. You're not a bad person. I know that now, ma'am. It took a long time to learn, but... Just wrong place, wrong time. That's all it yeah. is. Just thought I'd tell you all what I know. Thank you, Ricky. This helps. Thank you. You got it, man. Anyway, I think it's time for me and Max to free up your phone lines. Thanks for listening, man. I'll let you to it. Ah! Night, Ricky. And that's exactly why she doesn't like pranksters. That's why she killed Jimmy. That's why she killed Jimmy. Because Jimmy was in on with the mask bit. That almost got someone else killed. That's why she killed Jimmy. That was her motive. Because the same thing happened to her boyfriend. When they were All pranking right, George, folks. he died. Looks like we got a new lead in the case. Come on! Jesus! If anyone has any info about this mysterious bean, please call in. If she was George's girlfriend back then... She's probably in her mid to late 30s now. Huh. Isn't there two killers? I don't know. That that I still don't know. Oh, we have another call coming in. But hang on. What's up, Peggy? Yo. Peggy? What's going on? You're going to want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. All right, folks, it's time for another try. Why is she so Here's excited by it? to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. All right. Let's talk about what we gathered. Dawn is George's boyfriend. They were celebrating the night of their first victory football game. George was on the team. Chuck was on the team. Jason was on the team, and so was Ricky. They tried pulling a prank on everybody at the party. We don't know who was wearing the mask. I'm going to say Jason. Because she stabbed him saying, not so funny now, is it? Prank gone wrong. George got hurt, which led him to die. And now she's back to kill everybody that was involved with the prank. She killed Jimmy because Jimmy was pranking somebody when that actually happened a long time ago. And someone was involved and someone died from pranking. Okay. But why Eugene? But why Eugene? Okay, well we're we're off the air. What what did she say? Everything's off. Oh. Uh, 
I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. She's so happy for what? Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. Leslie! Oh! Looks like it's been a busy night, huh? Super! Surprise! It's Leslie, our oh my God. operator. Oh my God! Oh my God! from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. <laughs> anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. It's been a long night. Ever since you found Sheriff Matthews, it's only gotten worse. It's been a long night. Well, it shouldn't be too much longer now. I'm glad I got through to you. I wanted to let you all know what's going on. I made it to Henderson. And maybe the reason why a family paid Clive to hide this because they didn't want their son or daughter to get in trouble for what they did during the prank. And that's why they asked the sheriff to tinker or somebody to tinker with an autopsy report. Ah... Turns out somebody had cut the they didn't want their children's and they had no idea what life was to get After I told ruined. them, well, their sheriff sent a goddamn squad back with me to stop this. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the Whistling Man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. What do you need? You can count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. The Whistling Man already called up a few times. True. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in. So once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this night. Got you. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Boris Nash's interview of a lifetime. Jesus Christ. Anyway... I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Sounds good. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. Ah. This makes sense. Since Brody was a superstar talent, his parents wanted to cover it up. Gotcha. I wonder if your genes related to Brody. It sounds like this is almost over. How did Brody break his leg? It was during a football game, right? Or was it the festival at incidents? The fest. What if Dawn... I don't know. If it's the fest, what if Dawn tinkered with the festival to get him killed? But he only came up with an injury. I don't know. Let's see. We're nearly through this. Hope you're right. I hope you're right. The sooner this is over, the better. If Peggy's in on this, though, that's going to be an issue. But I don't think she is anymore. I am right. Trust me. Anyway, we should get you back on air. Taking callers is the only way to see this through. When you're ready, shut the music off. Gotcha. Bringing you back live now. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. Oh, uh, hey. I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. John, is, is he going to be okay? He's a fighter. Hell yeah. I've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. Well, yeah, he was the fucking the best the offense line there was Thank in high school, you apparently. So much. If you hadn't been there, then. God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. 
Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? What? Is this Forrest? Yo, what's up? The one and only, the best offense line of Gallows Creek High School! The one and only, I hope you're feeling better. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach and there's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge. Ah, some good old morphine. So, I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> <coughs> Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But uh, before that, I, I needed to call you. What's up? I'm guessing the whistling man is still out there. This is true. Yeah. Yep. As far as we know, anyway. Well, I was worried you'd say that. God damn it. Actually, I'm glad you called. I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. True. Go for it. We spoke to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. You spoke to Ricky? Was he... Is he alright? He is He's alright. I mean, he was attacked earlier, but this call came after. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. You always... But if it's Dawn, we gotta we gotta answer if it's Dawn. I get it. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right She's back. She's so iffy. Sure, Peggy. Sorry, Jason. Uh, where was I? That. What if Dawn's calling her? What if Dawn is calling her and she, she's telling? What if Peggy's telling Dawn about what the cop told us? I don't like this. She waited till we get on air so she can make a phone call to somebody. I don't know. Ah, yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on like it never existed. What happened? What happened that night? I went along with the stupid prank, that's what. Whistling night. Knew it. Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. Decided to plan a party in the woods and have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. Yikes. And now he's actually stabbed. Not so funny now, is it? Wow. That night, I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man. Tended to get stabbed in front of everyone. Started an almighty panic. Those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Yes, George did call her that. Yeah. He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Dawn. Her name was... What? What happened? Are we still on air? Yo. No, no we're not. Seems like the power is completely gone. How do we get it back on? Nah, no way. Uh, M, M. No, we can use the emergency generator down in the basement. Marie Camp an emergency broadcast. An emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack. Broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare. Fair point. It's in the storage area in the far back corner, up on the wall. 
you might have spotted it earlier when you were digging around for all those tapes. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. Oh, see you when you're back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did I hear Campbell from? Where have I heard Campbell from? Peggy Campbell? Wasn't that Peggy's last name? That was Peggy Zoll's last name. But it seems like... I'm so... And then they got remarried. Yo. Peggy's not on this. Generator downstairs, is that what she said? I think the person that called her was Marie. I think her sister. Pretty sure her sister called her. I don't know. There's still a lot of theories, there's still a lot of what ifs. Something's about to happen. Backup generator in the basement, right? I think I know exactly what she's talking about. Over here. I know, bro. I'm checking every fucking corner. Oh, far back corner. Why is this station so big? Seems like a place to hide. If I could get back there. Far back corner. This seems like, oh my god, I feel like I'm about to sneak past somebody. Is it? No. Far back corner over here? That's it. That must be it. Oh, brother. This story just keeps getting better and better. This is crazy. Okay. Holy fuck. I don't know why everyone would say Molly. Who the hell was Molly? I forgot. Molly sounds familiar, but who who's Molly? There's no way it's Molly. It has to be Marie. Molly's Peggy's sister? No, I don't think so. I don't know Molly either. Bro, Molly? Eugene's girl? Really? Man, y'all stretching. The fuck? It's Marie. Oh, we've got power. I knew it. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Ain't there a fucking thing over here? There's not. I'm cooked. Yeah, there's a kill on the loose. Let's just not bring a weapon with us, huh? Like, we're so smart, man. Holy hell. Oh, my heart's going. Oh, Jiminy Cricket, is my heart going? Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Yo. Yo, yo, it's me walking. No, I hate this, dude. I know how the jump scares are in this game, man. Peggy, are you there? Are you... Peggy? I need to get back upstairs. 
Peggy's in on it. Peggy's in on it. I understand. Do anything for your family. But fuck, man. Did you love George like that too? This is crazy. Boy, hell no. Nah. Ah. But man. Come on. We're good. We're cool. We're cool. She wouldn't kill her. Own oh! Girl. What was that? What just happened? What just happened? Ugh. I'm hyperventilating. Scared the fuck out of me, man. They're sisters, right? She wouldn't kill her sister. Unless she pretends that she's dead. Just like back then. Yo. What? Why is it locked? Why is that locked? Oh no. Peggy's not here. Peggy! Where'd you go? Yo! Nah, fam. No way. This can't be happening. Oh, no. Nah. A, a call. Why he kind of... It's not a he, Allie. Grow up. Where's Peggy? Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. Got it can't be Peggy. It... it there's no way that's Peggy. All time still. So let's make the most of it. What do you mean? Make the most of it. Oh, but that is someone who knows how to use the air room. Well, obviously, because Peggy. So Peggy is on it. But I don't think that's Peggy specifically. They're sisters. Obviously, she's, she's probably brought her to the office and showed her around. Oh my god. Well, huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Well, let me take that out of your mouth. And... You crazy bitch! That's Peggy. Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Bro Brody Gallo? Wait. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But he made him crawl out of his coffin with all the money in the world. Wait. Where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. That I'm is Peggy. Teddy. And if he says where that is, well, he knows he'll get it. We gotta stall. We gotta stall. Then who's here? Wait, then who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallows Creek to my boy, Henry Barrow. Your son? Your son? You mean you... Wait, the... That he... Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. So there was two. Of course. That explains how you were always yep. able to get around town so quickly. And that's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office. Don't think I've forgotten about that, Forrest. Locking my sweet boy away like an animal. And Murphy, he he was right, wasn't he? He didn't find he a man. He did fight a man. Well, he did, yes. I taught my boy to never run away from a fight. Hang on. Did you say Barrel? Let me just get this mask off. Marie. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. Mooney. <sighs> there we go. Marie. Marie, Marie Campbell. Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh. 
Well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, God damn it. Not done, huh? We gotta stall. We gotta stall. Where is this going? Marie Campbell. So, not Don, huh? No. Not Don. What are you going to... Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. For the cops to show up. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Why should I? But where's Peggy? Why should I help you? Why, why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this? This is, is justice? not justice. You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. These people, these people you've been trying to save, they were all in on it. They all knew George was murdered, but. Murdered? Uh, listen, I. Damn! Damn! She's Batman, bro. Speak when you're spoken to. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. Yeah. And that's why I want you to interview us. Are you serious? Are you serious? You, you want me to interview you? Am I serious? After everything tonight, you really have to ask me if I'm serious. Uh. Do a good job, and hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. I need to drag this out. So, sorry, the quarterback, what's his son's name? I forgot. Teddy is the father. Teddy is the person that paid Clive to rig the autopsy and fake his death. The murder. Jesus Christ. And she wants revenge. She wants revenge on everybody that was involved with it. And she believes that they deserve time, that there needs to be justice. But there's different ways of doing justice. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek. And if I can find... So is this Peggy's sister? Then where is Peggy? Find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Hit him, Marie? Jesus Christ. We're not gonna hit him. Y'all are bugging him. We're stalling. Be honest, Teddy. Do you want to die? Yes, be honest. Teddy, be honest with me or we're both going to die. Honest? Forrest, I'm trapped here with a psycho. <coughs> wow. What the hell? <laughs> God damn it. Listen, 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 listen. I'm not saying to hit him, but whenever she does hit him, it is kind of funny. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guy. Oh, Teddy's not the father? He was part of the football team. I'm bugging. I thought he was the father. Okay. The night Mooney vanished? Tell me why that night. Who's Mooney? His father paid the city off. Oh. We don't want to know why the Wilson Knight. We don't know the... 
We want to act like we know nothing about Whistling Night. Tell me why that night. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went missing. We couldn't pass it up. I was just surprised no one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. You mean this was the first Whistling Night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh... God, who was there? Me, Jason, okay, and George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And Roller Ricky, he was there too, wasn't he? Yes, Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky, our wide receiver. This story's I so good, dude. The bottle, you know, because I'm a decent man. Is that so? Yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people I do. still hate Teddy, though. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life. So, I helped him keep himself together. You... You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? That's right. Keep talking. About midway through the night, Put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man <laughs> screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. Did you ask Ricky? He didn't know the plan. He just ran. He was scared for his life. We need to, did you ask Risky, Ricky? There we go. Ricky, when I get you, Ricky. Ricky, when I get you, Ricky. This one right here. This is this is this. Did you ask Ricky? That's the, that's the fucking way to go. Did you ask Ricky if he knew or not? I didn't see any reason to. Why? Because Ricky phoned up earlier. He didn't know anything about it, Marie. What? He had no idea what was Weren't you listening, jackass? Hello? Oh my god. She listens to the radio 24-7, but she didn't hear that? What's happening? He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given everything away. There you go. It does matter, because your justice almost got an innocent person killed. He didn't run his mouth enough to tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still guilty. It was just a stupid prank. Just a prank? That's too sudden. That's too sudden. Oh, stall out with a question. How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh, come on. I... Chat, listen. You're all saying hit him. She's doing the hitting. Relax. We're stalling. We're not trying to get the guy killed and get everybody else killed. Okay? Relax. God damn it! You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? Right? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He sure He's is. Friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding. And You're going in. got him professional help just in time. Oh. the good sense to die earlier he's gonna regret that right enough about him he and george took off running but somehow we got separated in the woods i ended up near the bottom of whistling point and when i noticed george wasn't with me i panicked and then i don't know how he snuck up on me but the whistling man grabs me i scream and he starts laughing it's just a joke. And that's why Marie uh, killed Jimmy. I'm here. Who was it? We can ask who it was, but that'll be a sudden question. What happened next? Maybe how did you feel? I think how did you feel? And how did that make you feel? 
How did you feel? She's yeah. emotional. Let's play into her emotions and make her long on how it made her feel. In that moment. I felt like nothing was real. Then she'll tell us who it was after all this. What happened next? Tell me what happened next. I suddenly recognized it was Chuck. Chuck Brody. Chuck. Laughing away. But that explains why she wants to kill him at the gas station. And he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> was George better? What happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just Teddy. George. I knew it. Fell off Whistling Point. Why did he fall? How do you know? Where were you? Where were you? How did he know? Why did he fall? Why did he fall? Is stupid. Obviously, he was running. That pissed her off. How do you know? I think. Where were you? Confused, tell him where he ask him where he was at and how he got to the point. I think this is the best. Where were you when it happened? I, uh, you pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the whistling man, too. And that's why she has two whistling men. There was a double whistling man that night. I didn't push him, god damn it. I just chased him up there and he kept. Backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar. It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. Yo. If he had any brain. Oh, shut the hell up, Teddy. No. Hey, hit him. Hey, hit him. He would have realized. <sighs> Good. You bitch. Why can't he live with the fucking mistake he did, bro? Accept it. Fucking accept that you fucked up. Why are you coming after a dead guy that died? An innocent boy. Hell no! Oh no. Sorry, Osol. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. no one's going to believe this. After all, you did. Maybe a little bit of justice. You know what I'm saying? Don't kill all the guys. Chuck obviously felt bad. Same with Jason. Same with Ricky. Teddy, I don't mind if Teddy dies. But that'll be an easy way out. What happened? You believe her, then why the cover up even if you didn't push him? Then why the cover up? Let's dive more into why he wants to cover up his whole career and everything. If she's lying, why the cover up? There you go. Bye. Sure. There you go. What he was a quarterback. Ash, the star quarterback of like. high school. People like us are bred for bigger things. I'm going to be the mayor of this town, Forrest. He had power and to pay the city to shut up. And then, who knows? This guy got mad with power. He got away that one night and thinks he get away with everything. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to go. clean it up. Why should a blip ruin my That's all his life was to you? A blip? He wasn't a blimp. Let's say that. I want to stall. If we agree that he's evil, then she might do something crazy. I think I think we do this one. I think we do the top. A what do y'all think? Top answer? I think top. He wasn't a blimp, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night. But and the Sandra cop was dirty enough to hide it. Morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up. 
and she... Teddy paid her off. Teddy, unless she kept quiet. Did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp. This fucking dude. Is that a yes? I take it that's a yes? Yes! Okay. We own most of the town. That's it then. Your father was going to run her out of business. Unless she unless stayed quiet. She lied and said she found him in the so reservoir. She almost killed another innocent of person instead of asking what herself. My father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The false reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews, too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but. Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the Not everyone. wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. Yeah, but don't you ever consider on why they did the thing these things? Why did they do it? Maybe this guy had so much power in them to lose their career and future. Oh, why not go around and ask them yourself? Get your own answer. It's not wrong to ask. Ah, uh, but that should invalidate doing the right thing. Ah, uh, damn. Uh. And I saw. I'm, I'm sorry. If Dr. Sullivan had survived, then maybe... There's no excuse for what she did, Forrest. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper, but no. Yeah, but you shouldn't take money. You shouldn't take money. <sighs> we'll take care of Maurice Russell later. When will the killing end? This, right? You've been through hell. This has to stop. When will the killing end? I think this. Yeah, maybe the first. But let's try to sympathize with her. Make her... And then have this conversation keep going. You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. But this isn't the way to go about it. Leslie, where are you? Here, where George and I first met. Which is? Which is? Was right after he shot the winner. The high pro. school. Wait a sec. The football field. You're at the football field. Jesus Christ, Forrest, you idiot! Did I fuck up? We're in the gym at Gallows Creek High. I told you not to do that. Wait. <laughs> He's dead too now, isn't he? He is. Anyway, I think. Just uh. That about wraps up. But honestly, like, is is his death really a big, you know? It wasn't a blip, Marie. Guys, Teddy's death is just a blip. Am I right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, should we really spare him? His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night. But... Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found right. him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek. Not yeah, but Sharp. killing him is the easy way out. I take it that he needs to yes. do his time. Yes, okay. Think about what he's really Show. done. Not die how? ignorant and believe that That's what he it, did was like your father was going a to blip. run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father and the reputation. did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The false reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews too. So you really paid off it, everybody, Maria? hold them hostage, blackmail them. Not just them. to get him out of the way, but everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And I saw. 
I'm... I'm sorry. If Dr. Sullivan had survived, then maybe... There's no excuse for what she did, Forrest. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper, but no! That coward killed the story. Okay, so she tried to ask these people. We'll take care of Maurice Russell later. You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. It never should have started. He shouldn't have pushed my door down the cliff. He should have been punished. It's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here. Where George and I first met. Before he joined the football team. When right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. The school gym? Near Gallows Creek High. In the gymnasium. That's right, Forrest. Not that it matters, but yes, we're here. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Boom! Marie? Where? Oh my god. Peggy! Teddy? You've got to help me. I... Quiet. You'll talk more later. Now I have to talk to someone who mattered more than you ever did. Peggy. It's been so long so they since are I've seen your face. I worried you wouldn't come. Marie! Oh my god. I thought you... And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. So Peggy's innocent. Sister? Sister? Peggy, what, what's happening? Why are you even there? What I explain, Peggy. Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. You remember? Yeah. Well, it was from Dawn. And you went? She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out. That my sister is the whistling man good to see you too peggy why didn't you tell me any of this oh god she said that it was my last chance to see my sister i knew if i told you you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio and i just i'm sorry this has to be a lot for you i just I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged. What happened? Don't apologize. What the fuck? What do you mean? She's going through it, dog. Why would I not apologize? I had to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Let me shut up. No. I don't need to stay quiet. I only care when they've learned I've been with George. And... And... Uh, Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well, I'll have to settle for the next best thing. There we go. Is that why you attacked Eugene? This one. This one. We should vote for this one. Explain why she went for Eugene. I. Wait, is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze? Uh, Eugene Stein? Because His parents died? Eugene? Last name is Stein. That's his parents? That's right. Eugene's parents were there that night too. But they got themselves killed in a bus accident. And since only their child was left. That Marie, is crazy! Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. You forgot. Is there any way I could prove that he didn't forget Marie? How? Prove. Prove how? This? How? Forgotten. 
the song. I forgot you. Well, no one's gonna forget now. I I tried picking that up. Why did it not let me pick it up? I tried picking it up. Why why did it not let me pick it up? Why did it? I literally looked at it. You can fucking clip it. I literally there was no prompt to let me pick it up. It fucking dickless. Let me back at it. Oh, it was the second load, huh? Yeah, it was. Ridiculous. She killed Peggy. She kills her own sister. Ridic Bro, she's cuckoo. A few loose screws in her head. That's ridiculous. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well... The whole Eugene thing's crazy, dude. I'll have to settle for the next best thing. I... Wait. Oh. Is that why you went out... Interesting. So she was planning to kill her parents. After that what kid the, in the maze fuck? Maze, Eugene Stein. I'm gonna grab it now because it might bug out. That's right. Eugene's parents were there that night too. They got themselves killed in a bus accident. And since only their child was left. Murray, please. Mom and dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. God. Is there any way I could prove Peggy didn't forget Marie? Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love M. I. Well, I. Anderson police! Free! No! You do it, time! Get out of there! Blast his ass! I don't give a fuck! Peggy. We have two wounded, and we're in pursuit of the suspect. Anderson police! Freeze! I'm innocent! Forrest! Leslie, how's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad, but we're here now. I'll be okay. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. What a good it's story, dude. Forest. Thank God it's over. And we're on air. Well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. I'm going to head off to go check on Peggy. This has been Force Nash. Nash. It's been a scream. Yo, that, that shit about to go hard. Hey, that shit about to go hard. Hey, hey. And it's been a scream. Damn. Okay, Forrest. Okay. Yikes. But look how much people we saved, yo. What is this? Are we... Are we the son now? Of Marie? Never mind. What if they bust into our house? One's in custody and the other one's running in the woods. There's no way there's a third killer. I don't Who are we? I wonder who we are. It's not Clive. Maybe we're just some bystander chilling, listening to the news. And what if they burst into here? Look out the window. That's so loud. That is so loud. Where are we? What is this? Oh, yeah. What an amazing game, dude. 
Oh my god. Truly. Holy hell. What a good story. Took a while to get into, but my god. Keep looking out the window. This window right here. Oh, we're gonna see them run by. Like the video. There might be more. Badass, yo. I want to talk about it, man, but I hold on. I want to see what happens. She went back to where George died. Almost poetic. She might, that's crazy. She might jump off too. Stop. Put your hands in the air. Get down on the ground. Dude, this game, man. I don't think you understand. I, I've never had a story game had me like this invested in so long. It's been so long. Yeah, Tony, Virginia died. Don't move. Nobody else has to get hurt. Did she survive? No. George didn't survive. She's doing a swan dive! Holy hell! Tens all across the board! Nah, dude. Yeah. Mooney also jumped off there. But they didn't find his body. Is this second game? No. Oh. They should make a second one though. I love this game. It really makes you like imagine what's happening on like every scene from every dialogue you hear. Okay, hold on. What? What the hell? I looked at the window for for what? Dude, they could there's an it's an open-ended ending. They could do a lot with this. This game was fucking amazing. The build up, the bond you build with these characters, you trying to figure out what the hell was going on. You trying to use your, your best deduction LA Noir skills. Fucking amazing. 10, tens all across the board for me. I fucking love this game. Super badass, super badass. How the, the characters intertwine with each other. Every character had an important role. There was no such thing as a side character in this game. Outstanding, dog. Outstanding. Oh my god. And also, I think. Wait. Yeah, we really hated Peggy for what? Damn, we're a dickhead. Hey, sorry, Peggy. Jesus.
Hey, that's tough. Listen, dog. Like, she was being very sus. For, like, at the most... Yo, apply pressure on the wound. We have another caller. Dog, she, he's dying. The we have another caller. The fuck? That was kind of kind of iffy. Someone said that we, we might be Mooney. The, the OG whistling killer in, in the uh, credit scene. That would be very fucking cool. This guy is just listening to his legacy carry on inside a little room. That would be very cool. Dude. Wow, man. Peggy being a sister. The whole festival thing. The football team. All of it coming back for vengeance. She wanted revenge. She almost killed Eugene because her pa Eugene's parents died. So she couldn't get the satisfaction. Bro, insane, man. Oh, my fuck. Oh my days. What a game, man. I, I, I love games. I love things that just make you think. And how it just all came together. I'm throbbing. I'm bricked up. Jesus Christ. Amazing. Truly amazing. Like the video. Go enjoy the checkout. Wow, man. We developed the game. Uh, let me check. I want to see what else they've made. Dude, I I don't team seventeen digital. I don't think I understand how like much I really fancy games like this. I was so immersed, genuinely so immersed. Team seventeen digital. <laughs> the build up was slow, but damn, man, did they, did they fucking cook? Did they cook? Holy hell. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a story. Fucking A. Like the video. Subscribe. Share. Comment what was your favorite part. Comment when I was being a dumbass. Comment when I was being woke as hell. Comment when chat was being annoying. Comment what was your favorite part. Comment when you were like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Holy hell, dude. This is YouTube. Bye.